Oh, what's up, people? How we doing, everybody? Welcome to the short stream. I didn't actually think I was going to stream, but I figured we're going to jump in for a bit, so we might as well. Guess what logging in before 10 minutes till means? Cryo. That's what that means. Alright, missed texts, any? Nope. Nope. Nothing important. Good morning. Uh, check to make sure my settings are correct. Yes. So we had to put up both signs because yesterday Anna and Sloan caught somebody trying to weld steel bars across the building and close it. They were in blacked out clothing. 
Yes, I was in the server yesterday. I did not stream. I apologize. We weren't sure if it was like RP somebody trying to do it or if it was like an admin thing. So we decided to respond with anti-power gaming tactics. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Any chance I could uh, go to town hall? Yeah, sure. Appreciate you. Hey, you don't mind if we rob a bank real fast? <laughs> sure, we can do that. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I seem to get taken hostage often. It's no big deal anymore. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, oh god, your door. How did yeah, that happen? It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, go man. Thanks, you too. My car is here. Nobody's here. Ugh, this thing sounds awful. I should get this car tuned, but I don't have a lot of money at the moment. So that's going to have to wait. Finally, not the sound anymore.
right. Well, that's neat. Is that everybody? Casual head pop, no biggie. And we back. That seems more like a server rollback. Bubbled the hell out of that car. I feel like I'm always a modern when it comes to like things specifically arriving. Sure, 47 armors.
Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I guess we'll we'll find out. You think so? Now, now, now that she's... Oh, hello, Mrs. Sloan. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Quite well. Are you stalking me again? Yes. Oh, my. I don't work for the mayor anymore. I'm allowed to. You. Oh. Why? Why am I allowed to? Or why don't I work for the mayor? No. Why don't you work for the mayor? Uh, disagreement. Oh, no. Okay, that's very surprising coming from your own side because I thought you worked closely with Mickey. Uh, we'll we'll say um, Mickey makes a lot of assumptions, and rather than having an appropriate conversation, uh, he turned me into some kind of villain, and so I just figured rather than being vilified, I uh, chose to recuse myself from his employ. Oh wow. Okay, that's... Wow, okay, that was very unexpected. Wow, okay. I'm very... Hmm. Wow, Han, did you, you heard that, right? I'm, I'm genuinely fucking surprised. Oh my god, okay. Why are you surprised by that? What's, what's so surprising? Because I thought you were gonna work with Mickey. Like, you, you look like a guy who was like a ride or die kind of deal for Mickey. Why That's is that? what I, the impression. No. But I am ride or die for the citizens of Los Santos. Oh, okay. And why do you think I resigned from the second term? Because I had a PTSD and I felt like things are going to pop off very soon. You know? Oh, is that right? Uh-huh. Oh, then, then we're probably more in agreement than I originally anticipated. Well, I would like to... Well, I quite enjoy when people disagree with me. Different different opinions and perspectives, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, there's certainly room for... Uh, what, what does they say? I, iron sharpens iron, right? I think that's a biblical tenet, but the whole concept of, like, you get two things rubbing together, you get, you get sparks... Uh, that kind of that concept coming from like it, you know, um, competition, breeding, innovation. I mean, it all kind of comes and stems from the same ideas. However, when it was this kind of environment, and I think you probably hit the nail on the head, um, there were things that were beginning to transpire that made me feel, I'll just say, dirty, and that was not okay with me. So I, yeah. Okay. Well, are you going to be running for mayor? No, no, I. Why not? Uh, well, not yet, at least. I, I think, uh, you know, I'm still relatively new to the city. I've only been here for about seven weeks. Um, what I would like to see happen is uh, another mayor come in. Uh, I would like to probably, given it, be somebody with a more um, reliable background. Now that I've learned as much as I have about Mickey. Uh, I would oh, like Rami. to be a, uh, would you say Rami? Yeah. Uh, I think if, if it was Rami, I don't know that I would probably be in the same position, but you know, someone like Damien or, um, Osvaldo who are running and have the intention to run with hopefully the right mentality, um, work for them as a deputy, get my experience in the right capacity, uh, rather than doing what we had originally kind of done, which was a consultative approach. Um, yeah. Uh, then, then you know, once I've I've paid my dues, I think that's kind of where where I landed was. You know, I, I came into the city all meteoric, uh, made a big splash, and then all of a sudden had a bunch of enemies out of nowhere. Um, I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't didn't intend to come in and make enemies. I intended to come in and make change. Well, 
walk into a center where people will hate you for no reason and absolute for everything and anything. So yeah, I think you a good impression. I have, in my opinion. I have done exactly what it seems like this city intends to do to anybody. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I I do intend to still make a change. Yeah, I love I love that. Thumbs up. Listen, when you <laughs> people have started to despise you or you know have your name on their tongue, that means you've made some waves. You're good. Yeah, well, I I hope though that I can I can make waves that that matter, not waves that are dramatic, right? I don't intend just to make dramatic waves. I, I hope to make waves that actually change the, shit, the, the, the city and, and shape the city for the good. One or another. But yeah, we'll we'll One. see. Yep. See how that actually transpires. But like I said, I uh, I think that the way that'll actually kind of pan out is by me, you know, being here longer and paying my dues and, and making the right connections and not not burning bridges. I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't expect it anything is too far gone. Fly. Are you okay, cow? Oh, I'm talking with Flop about the sign. Oh yeah, Sorry, go, go look at the gift shop too. Yeah, we got some new signs, Mrs. Sloan. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't even see that. I, I've been oh, partaking from Flop Shop for a while. Uh, it's great to actually oh, yeah. have it branded. This what is fantastic. Yep, flop shop, and then we have a gift shop. Oh, the gift shop, Ash's shop. Oh yeah, in front of I've the cafe. Spent, I've spent with all the God, machetes. Uh, well, I didn't see much machetes there, but it's a gift shop now. So. Oh okay. What? Damn it! So many what holes in my. Oh, hold us up. I love it. You should buy an oil pump for yourself, Mr. Sloan. It's oh, a great I hobby. I don't want to be an oil baron. Oh, it's just for pumping. Just do it. It's pretty <laughs> fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. We need to finish our I conversation think... that happened that when we ran up to Storm last time. I forgot what we were having. I, I also kind of forgot. I more just enjoyed talking to you. Oh, Ubu. <laughs> Ubu. <laughs> Wait, stalking me. I'm not stalking you, Sherry. You're just a cool person. Would you like to stalk me? Would I like to? No, thank you. I guess I have to go to the crypt and say, looking for stalkers and serial killers. I'm in a the mood these days. Are you? Yeah, well, my cats I, are pregnant. I I kind of work for the people who would solve those crimes now. Oh, I mean, a CU? Uh, higher, more federal. FIB? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know Bench Guy very, you know, yeah, just fine, you know. Oh, yeah. Mm. Bench, Bench Guy has made a, a disappearance for a while, I think. Yeah, kind of... I need to know what happened because apparently Hayes told me that he resigned. He did. That's not true. He can't resign from FIB. Why would he do such a thing? He did. Uh, he and Booba both actually resigned. Well, Booba is whatever. But Bench Guy? Nah. I don't believe it. Yeah, the the words they both used were until the city repaints itself. I need to call him. Maybe he's around. Sure, maybe. Probably not. Yeah, my bench. Where's my bench? He's my bench. I mean, never heard that. Uh, I need to run real quick, Jerry. Would you like to go on an ocean trip with me? Uh, sure, at some point. No, no, now. Oh, no, I can't right now. I have a meeting, but, um... Oh. Yeah, I have to, I have to run to a meeting, but, uh, soon, yes. It won't take that long. Well, li I'm literally missing a meeting at the moment. But oh, yes. okay, well, don't talk about my bench connect, just saying. I, I won't. Okay, bye, Mr. Sloan, beautiful. He's my stalker. He's great. I love stalkers. Like don't him. introduce me as your stalker. Well, I don't know his first name, but I call him Sloan. He's great. Look at him. He's on the phone. Sloan oh. is my first name. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Travis. This is uh, Sloan Kelly. 
Oh, hey, Sloan. Nice to meet you. We're all just sit down in the office. Fantastic. I am running that way from Uwu. I will be okay. there in just a moment. All right, great. We're still waiting on Ari anyway, so um, okay, it's perfect. perfect. Do you okay, guys thanks. need any food? I will um, stop by here and grab some. No, no, we'll just grab over to run up to Maldini's if we need something. It's right across okay. the street. Sounds okay. good. Awesome. Thank you, Sloan. Absolutely. See you in a sec. Hello, anyone around? Nope. Okay. I think I think my departure chat was exactly the right time to have been tied to all of that stuff while things kick off is probably not ideal whether directly in office or not I think that would have allowed me to be the oh, dang it all guy what is going on with my head what is happening? What, what is that phrase? What's going on in Miami? Uh, Shat, did you give the document a read through? Uh, Shat, did you give the oh, document a read through? Oh, why am I hearing myself? Uh, there it is. Okay. Never mind. Figured it out. If you're still here, that is. Yeah, right. Oh, Hello, sir. here you are. What is happening with my head? Can you can you see us now? I can, but also oh, I was halfway around the wall. Um, you, you did hey, legal. can I get to? Uh, some two? Let, let's do like three filling combos. Yeah, you seem like you. Might. My head is busting today, in not the good way. No. Like the worst way possible. Oh no. Leave me alone! Did you charge, charge already? Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, touching me right. 900 before taxes. So when you There you go. Oh my god, I can't see anything. I can't oh, see anything. Oh, oh, oh. The trail for you, sir. Awesome, thank you so much. Oh, I see things now. You're welcome. Take care. Hope you will enjoy the food. Oh, thank you. I always do. All right, Ava, I'll get to run, but uh, let's catch up soon. Wait. Literally, I'm like super late for a meeting, but uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, but I'll call already, you after. Where's Nancy? You already had to, you're already late, so you know it's like once you're a where's minute Nancy? late, you might as well be an hour late. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't I, see how you I don't doing. know, Rod. Where is Nancy? What? Hey, Sloan. Aren't you her, oh. uh, Why don't you ever hang out with me anymore? Oh my well, gosh, because so Nancy sweet. and I are kind of fighting, I guess, but not really. It's more like I'm fighting with her bosses, and as a result, oh. I feel like she's been pulled into the void. Right. Damn. Dang it, Anyway. Me. I don't know. I need to call her. Okay, I gotta go. I'll see you guys. Bye. Okay, so it's it's me. Good to know. I don't know what's going on. My internet is fine. Nope. 
not what I meant to do. Just casually pull out a gun. I feel stronger. Can I sign in with this guy? Yes. Like he just did, 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 did for like a good five minutes and me and Hal looked at each other and we're like, let's go jump off the other side of the building and get the fuck really? out of here before the cops show up. <laughs> yeah. Hello, good sir. So Hi. they responded to a shit ton of shots fired. Hey. Oh, hey, Chelsea. Welcome. Hey, Drew. Hey, Ari. If you had to pick a color, what, what colors would you say would you say Chelsea's wearing today, Ari? Whoa, yeah, <laughs> That's pretty, pretty yellow. I, I just felt like going shopping. Uh huh. Pretty Fine, I'll go speak to. <laughs> I'll go speak to Jeff. He gets me. Anybody but I've, Jeff. I've worked here for eight seconds. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Welcome to the Jeff team. Jeff is an interesting dude. Welcome to. Some news where lot, everything so. changes in every moment. Fantastic. Also, what do you all think about us having this conversation elsewhere, like maybe yeah. at my house or something, yes. so we don't have listening ears? That's a wonderful idea. Okay. All right. There, Off the, to the, the crazy walls house. Are very thin and by me. Like LSBN's main office is directly above yeah. us. Yeah. That's say, fair. Which is pretty awesome most of the time. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. You mean for like counterintelligence purposes? I just I like I like it when they can hear me talk. I've got my okay. four-seater truck here. If we want to take that, um, sure. um, well, and Drew's also got their car. It's uh, whatever you guys prefer. I got a big old truck, or we can cram into Drew's car. I think we should all pile into Chelsea's car. <laughs> that, see, that's a horrible idea. We all get in the trunk at the same well, time. Well, Drew's car is already out. We might as well just yeah. use that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chelsea gets the trunk. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Yeah, you do, because you're in slow, Chelsea. We gotta hide that yellow. Drew, did you get a new brain or something? I don't recall you being able to drive around like very often. Actually, good I point. A little bit. Go ahead and open the trunk. Haha, I beat you to it. I gotta call I was Hal trying. to finish my pilot lessons too. We need to rehire Hal too. He's a really good editor. He's the uh, like probably my favorite editor of all the editors that we've had. Really good fun. Not, and I don't mean like as a rocker at Chelsea, but I mean like just editing, editing, you know? Hello, um, yeah, Osvaldo fired him. Where are we going, by the way? Oh, uh, our house. Uh, 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 yeah, I can mark it. Uh, there. In the middle of the street. Chumash. That's the word I was looking for, it was Chumash. Oh, that's where all the cool kids live, isn't Chumash? Yup. Mm. I got lucky because Suri managed to wake up like right when all the houses, you know, got placed for, up for sale like a million years ago. And, not a million, but you know, oh, quite a while ago. Yeah, like didn't you um, it for like 200k or something? Yup, you like bought it for 200k. <laughs> that's crazy. That's Is that... I can't even get a dog until I get a two bedroom house. Yeah, that's the way I was able to get Bean, my doggo, was uh, having the house with Surrey. You have a dog? Yeah, his name is Bean. You should sell me that dog. I'm not selling you my Oh man, I, I will, um, he's in my apartment right now though. Otherwise I'd bring him out so you could see him. Or her, I'm sorry, why am I saying him? Jeez. Did you, just, did you just misgender your dog? Oh, I, I did. Really <laughs> just, just, super, super insensitive. I think it's the name Bean. It just seems like it should be a you know male gender, I guess, but Does it's it? not. I don't know. That that actually seems like it should be a female. Really? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I mean, good. think about the the context people use Bean in. When do they like? Usually, it's just food related. Uh. Let's think about it. There's another context. Yeah, thank you, Drew. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, the bean? Okay, yeah, I get uh -huh. it. The captain that of the robot? That took a minute. I don't right. have a dirty, disgusting mind like you do, Sloan. Yeah, me, the open, conservative <laughs> uh, Protestant, has a very dirty mind. 
Oh no, wait, well, who are we hiring? So who are we hiring? Uh, yes. Who did we hire? Yep. Let's do a little restructuring. Also, Aren't I like the lowest on the totem pole at this point? Uh, well, ju I just I picked a position to bring you in. We're gonna hammer oh, all okay, that out. Okay. I think we should reset permissions and do everything. Like, That's I don't know. Probably I mean, sounds idea. reasonable. Like maybe like remove all the roles, delete yeah, all the well, at least most of the scratch. roles, and uh, start fresh. Eh, I mean, I'm probably gonna get a dirty trader role because I happened to put on a yellow shirt this morning, so. You sure also, did. Oh yeah, I we should no keep problems. that backstab. <laughs> if you guys, if you want to go work for LSPN and still keep your jobs at Weasel, that's not. That's never going to be an issue with me. You're not fired. No, I'm just kidding. I might be an issue with them, but probably not. At yeah, that's <laughs> kind of why I want to freelance. I'm, yeah, I mean, I think they're they're desperate to have as many riders as they possibly can, and they've constantly been reaching out to you know our riders. So uh, I'm sure, you know, if anything, they'll do it behind staff Dylan's would have back. Issue with it. Uh, yeah. yeah, Charity will. Mm -hmm. I don't have blame an her. Issue I'd with fucking what? do that too. With oh, uh, someone from Weasel. Why would she have an issue with that? She wouldn't. That's what they're saying. Oh, like, oh, oh, there's oh, only oh, one person that would. That's yeah. Dylan. And that's Dylan. Yeah, yeah. no. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah. No, like if like, it's just up to like Richie and uh, Charity, like mm -hmm. it wouldn't matter. And if Dylan really doesn't give a shit about the new side, I could just do both, no problem. I don't even yeah. think Dylan would mind, honestly. I think uh, the deal. I think that it was, you know, this was all only about mind the deal. If it was me. And it was all about me. Well, yeah. How about this? Uh, me and you are in the same boat now. How's that make you feel? Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed better. to do LSB yeah, anymore either. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, you are a bit of a flip flopper. I listen just because I like <laughs> to theory craft and play with ideas. You know. Uh, what if I, I ever actually it. made the wrong? Always, every day. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> One word, federalis. That's why we're high. Listen, I mean... guys are gold. <laughs> you, you no one word can be solicited. I will have you know. <laughs> From a business standpoint, the report right that there. I did on the federales the was the fastest and most well-received video that I have ever made. It grew faster and was more well-received than anything that I've ever created. So, Anna also made oh, us hundred thousand dollars. I'm in the that, garage, which is pretty good. So, can you, can you try to escort me out of the garage at all, or carry me? Just gotta face the yeah, face right there exactly. We, what are we doing? Just try to gr uh, carry me or something. Oh, get out of the way! Oh, okay. hey, what <laughs> everyone who's not hurry, move away. Drew, go to your right just I'll a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I already got stuck yeah, in the wrong, garage. Wrong escort, clearly. Oh, thank you. I got out of the trunk and I found myself inside the garage. Oh, I'm trying that's to move. Better. I didn't want to do it while everyone was. <laughs> That's clear, fine. clearly, that was a mistake on my part. <laughs> All right, let me uh, unlock uh, here one second. All right, feel free to go in. Oh yeah. I recommend giving your eyes a moment. You guys ever feel like there's just two five-gallon bags of water attached to your feet when you're trying to walk around all the time? <laughs> Sometimes. That's oddly specific. Bags of water. What's that noise? All right, did you leave the oven on? No, we got a fireplace. Oh, I thought I heard bacon. I wish I had bacon with me right now, and then I could put Bean in their bed right there. Feel free to enjoy the couch. I'm just going to pop out my little chair here. Ooh, this is a comfy couch. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna scooch forward just a little bit more. All right. Ta-da! This is... This is like my, my floor chair, apparently. Okay, now oh. I can reveal to you the true reason why I brought you all here today. <laughs> We're all fired. 
You're all fired unless you figure out how to get Brock back. <laughs> oh, that's well, working with mm. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't well, it's think it's been that's a pleasure good. for these 48 seconds. See, mm -hmm. here's what you can do take a picture of me, just write like Chelsea Lafayette, new LSBN head writer or something, send that to Brock and get him no. to come back in a rage. I have, I have a better idea. We we give the title of Smegma to um to Chelsea here and like do like you know like take a little picture of her with like the the Smegma title on yeah. her and be like check out our new I already forgot what the Smegma stood for senior, senior managing entertainment marketing and uh general administrator uh anchorman sure. anchorman anchor yeah. <laughs> Anyways, he loves that title, sorry. so I feel like he'd be like, oh, fuck no, I'm the only smegma around here. I don't want to derail this conversation. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I really want Brock <laughs> back. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to prepare to send you a few documents so that you know where we're at. Okay. Mr. Kelly. Oh, are you going to send him the business proposal that yeah, you originally just, wrote? Yeah, just the stuff, that and the construction proposal that you put together. Oh, yeah, you yeah, could yeah. You share that with the as well maybe oh my god i don't even know and where the hell that is i have a copy of it if you don't and oh then yeah in the please. meantime um maybe we can just catch up and get a little background on sloan kelly oh yeah a little interview to all serious seven man weeks of me being in the city mm -hmm. apparently you made a apparently you've made an impact a hell of a splash in seven weeks yeah and you've only been here for seven weeks you guys right. He's got a bigger reputation than all of us combined he Clearly. hasn't been brow down to the point turn yet this man has at yeah. least a year's worth of <laughs> that's drive true yeah. I, I can i can at least be an idealist for another uh exactly three quarters plus of a year mm -hmm. great and once you start working for weasel you'll see you'll see the the challenges that's actually he's a number of challenges what what he's been dealing with lately I'm going to info dump you, so be prepared. Okay. There's yes. quite a bit, actually. Yeah, there is a lot. Info dump in, like, via email, you mean? Or yeah, yeah. Or here so just... in this forum? No, I'm go while, while we're talking, I'm just going to okay. send you uh, yeah, a couple of things, and that way we can all look at it together. It's stuff that we all have, if we need to cool. report it, like just the employee Perfect. handbook. So. Gotcha. Yeah, all the things. Should we tell them the, the situation about uh, the, the communication struggle? Uh, the, the email thing's resolved. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's a good a, thing yeah, to head off right off the bat. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, you guys, go. please explain away. So, we started up Weasel, and I'm trying to think of the best way to kind of cover this. Drew, do you think you can explain it better with... than me? I mean, I wasn't around for most of it. But... I can, uh, oh, I, I can okay. explain it. I can explain it. Hand. Yeah, because some okay. of it's a little hard to explain. Okay, no, I, 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 I'm really, really fucking good at this. I'll explain this. Okay. So, it basically started out, you know, like every fucking company in the city, we had a uh, Discordian email chain that we used to, you know, share articles, share videos, yada yada, uh, share everything. It was and kind of, uh, you know a key thing to have in order to like because we have multiple reporters writing different reports and photographers getting the pictures for the newspaper and all that so we needed somewhere for everybody to essentially dump everything so then the editors can go through it edit and then you know everybody can have their hands and eyes on it in order to compile it all together and then get it shipped off to the printer mm -hmm. uh, so yeah there's that idea sorry go ahead yeah and and basically, we were told by, well, some the powers working that for, for the set, basically, that, no, like, you're not allowed to do that. If you want to run a company, you need to run everything inside the city, which is obviously bullshit, because every single fucking company in the city uses an email chain. Yep. So, essentially, what we're doing is we've been doing exactly the same thing, but sharing Google Docs instead. Right. Yeah. One thing I think that's worth noting here, at least yes. the uh, history to that decision. Mm -hmm. We kind of succeeded Weasel from an existing uh, yes company, and they had gotten in trouble for something very similar. We have yeah, never and, met them. We don't. Yeah, know. That, yeah, that we was, don't know them. Yeah, we just picked was, up the company. Yeah, that was forever ago, like pre-economic. Uh, 
what? That's that's another thing too is we're not technically weasel news. Like if you look up weasel news um, at the um, city hall. Why, city hall. Thank you. If you look up weasel news, it's going to show Mickey Rivers as the owner and all that. We are W E N N, which is Weasel Entertainment News Network. Back when we first started trying to bring the company together and and set it up and everything, um, we tried to get Weasel News like transferred to us, but that owner uh, is in the Bahamas, and oh, okay. um, which is an, again that's part of that whole situation of why Weasel can't email chain, I guess, because that was part of the problem. Did Travis just pass out on us? Travis, did you forget to? <laughs> what is happening? You good, buddy? What the fuck? Just leave me. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> so, um, it was so weird to witness. I see. Start. Someone's call, gonna say somebody, if some somebody call nine one one, tell them bring snacks. I asked if you needed food. I wasn't paying attention. This is why I need a man. I need someone to manage me. I actually what brought is happening food right too. Now? That's the worst part. Is I, I brought extra meals. Does, is nobody seeing this taxi cab in the living room right now? No. Drew's no. car is backing its way through. Uh, wait, what the, the fuck? The into fuck? me right now. Okay, I'm gonna okay, grab you. Hold on. No, no, no. Leave me here. Okay. Just, all right. We'll just continue. It's fine. Okay. Get, you, get you there soon. I'm just gonna sleep here on a couch. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh -oh. If you need food, get food from Here, Sloan, I've, I've please. got food. I, I think does, food does anyone else need food? Okay. I have uh at least two mains and two sides. I'm okay for the moment. Thank you though. Yeah, I should be alright for a little bit. Two mains and three sides. What about beverages? Do we need beverages? Uh, I'm good. I'm okay I'd, there as well. I'd take one if you offer it. So yeah um so the owner can't come around to transfer ownership uh for a while there we had a couple rivers working with us and um she was his daughter yeah yeah and she was going to originally like be the ceo and everything um i have no idea who we're about but him. like uh there's just like a whole lot of stuff going on with that um she didn't, do, her, she didn't do jack shit and took the credit. She, she wrote one article. Um, she, <laughs> I was planning to write an article for the first newspaper. I told her exactly what I was going to write. Um, and, you know, probably put it, you know, on. I, at the time I didn't know where it was going to be put, but then we decided maybe that's going to be the best thing to do is put it on the front page because it was like essentially a meat weasel news kind of a thing. And then when we started the newspaper, she was like, I want to write an article. This is what I'm going to write. And literally just word for word wrote what I said I was going to write. <laughs> like, I guess I'm not writing that then. I guess I got to find something else to write. Uh, anyway, um, she got mad at me for other things. Like, she started to do the layout for our first newspaper, and it was just very mediocre. Um, we literally hired a it guy good. to... It was good. It was okay. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. Um, but we literally hired a guy, and I even told that, that we hired a guy to do the list, because that's what he does. And so I was like, well, can I just, you know, I was like, I wanted to take it to him, see what he wanted to do with it. And she considered that me going behind her back and backstabbing her. And then I showed it to her, and she's like, oh, this is actually really good. Please use that. I'm like, yeah, see why I made that. <laughs> so I think she's always been mad about I don't know. But anyway, um... She had also tried to reach out to, you know, who, whatever higher ups can give that sort of okay, or the email got told no. Uh, unbeknownst to Travis, he reached out to that same person, didn't realize it, and uh, got we got told absolutely fucking no. I don't know why you got asking about this. Yeah, we reached out to somebody, and then somebody else got back to us and said, don't ask, why are you asking about this? The same person yeah. that told us in the first place. So it's like... Uh, yes, that was an oopsie. Well, it just, it, it was just an, it was just an un unfortunate series of events. We have to work around it, but yeah, you need to be aware that um, yeah, it is, oddly enough, we are the only company in town that is explicitly not to have uh, the using uh, a 
quote unquote email chain. Okay. If it makes you feel any better. Heard that happened to somebody else as well. Really? Oh. Company, though. Well, they there you got permission go. and got told explicitly no. Yeah. It's so weird because literally every other business I've ever been in yeah, has well, a fucking email you're chain. You're not supposed See, to ask. That's the yeah, point. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Don't ask. Do and don't like openly talk about <sighs> it. That's yeah. how everyone does it. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's honestly what I think we should have done from the start. Here's the other problem too, though. Like, I'm literally in email chains with people who have the, you know, ability to say yes or no on that that are in those. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm in two of them. Mm-hmm. The other issue. Well, I have. Too... I mean, I, I always, I, I, I might be able to ask again now and see. It's so long. Oh. And I know a couple. Yeah. Other people I might be able to mention it too. But the thing is, though. I don't ever want to come across like I'm throwing somebody under the bus, so I might I might just not do it because I mean it doesn't bother me and we get our work done either way. But no, I mean it's just the, kind of a, the way it's I would crippling. I mean, if you're gonna do it, I would just say, hey, we're we're going through a restructuring. Uh, part of that restructure is is gonna oh that's true. Yeah, gonna include some operational shifts. Uh, what we would like to do is and and like don't ask for permission necessarily. Say here's what we're going to do and just Ooh. like see if they say no. It's more That's, like okay, yeah, like this is, yeah. I I am less asked for permission, more like here's what I'm doing, and then if they explicitly say no, I'll and and I'll give you the example. When, yeah. I started a business that stirred the pot hella bad, and then only got asked to shut down one part of three of my business. If that makes any sense in the city, it does. Yeah, okay. I get what you mean. No, like I mean oh, yeah. that's my experience too. Like, don't ask, do. Right. And I think that's that was actually the explicit response I got from management was um, we don't necessarily need to ask for all of this stuff. Just go ahead and do it. If mm -hmm. something is wrong, we'll tell you. Yeah. And that's yeah. actually specifically from the mayor's perspective. This is coming from the work that I was doing inside the mayor's office. Yeah, no, we just got caught up in a weird technicality. You know, yeah, I don't. Sure. As a business owner, I don't really want to fight because it doesn't. I don't really yeah. care. And if you guys yeah. want to fight that fight, it's really up to you. No, I. I, it was I think it's really frustrating since... because of trying to get the newspaper sorted. You know. Yeah, it made it really hard. It made it real comp. But sure, we did it I... anyway, and I think that's worth something as well. Exactly. Well, and I think now that you're wrapped up in it, you kind of have to, if you're going to try and get back to it, go back with a mindset like, hey, here's here's because of our restructure and reorganization, here's what we're trying to accomplish. We just need the the green light, and then just. I think it's a badge of honor, honestly, yeah. to say that we did all that without. <laughs> True. <laughs> right. Oh man. Uh, what's next? We we've kind of explained that situation. Uh... Well, that's basically that's actually like basically yeah, the, the biggest thing. It. That's yeah. Where we're... We made a bunch of newspapers, and it was great. Yeah. And then... Travis did some um, some videos. I'm I'm meant to do some videos, but I got so you know overwhelmed by the newspaper that I couldn't. I'd like to do another one sometime soon. Sure. Well, a magazine or something, maybe. Who knows? But Salon, what no, about you? No, I don't mean like, the newspaper. Uh... I mean a video. Oh, oh. Video oh. report. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, back. I to just wrote a lot. What's your back in the city like, Mr. Kelly? <laughs> Where do I start? Infamous, this is great. That's, that's, that was a little more menacing of a laugh. And where do I start than I intended it to be? <laughs> right? Yeah, that was pretty menacing. I mean, we can get you a cloak if you'd like. Maybe something Ooh, with a high collar. Yeah, let's make it red though for Weasel. Lower the lighting and uh, have it point down from the bottom. Saying I am in this. <laughs> um. Okay. So my backstory uh, for those the cue I haven't told. Um, because Drew and Ari and I had a very in-depth conversation, um, kind of outlining this, but for, uh, Travis and Chelsea. Um, so I, I was actually working for Mickey remotely, um, uh, for about four months prior to moving to the city. And, uh, I was originally hired on as an intern, um, during his campaign. And I was living about, uh, an hour north of here, well, a little over that. Uh, and still do, um, weirdly enough, I take the train in every day. Uh, I don't actually live in the city, I just commute. Um, so that that's kind of like the, the first thing to note. Uh, I don't live here. Um, but I uh, 
had done this remote, all of this remote work for him uh, based on a lot of legislation he wanted to write. And um, the original scope of what he had tried to do was based around wanting to, and, and I think his campaign was stir the pot, but uh, the way that that was communicated to me was change agency, for lack of better phrasing. Uh, and I'm a huge proponent of being a change agent. Um, I really like the idea of bringing about change in whatever way that can happen. Um, right. We just rebranded the Cuban News Network. You're going to love us. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, I love, love CNN. Um, that was a joke. Um, so <laughs> there is, uh, or there was, when we first got started, um, already six pieces of legislation that we had put through to the Senate, four of which got approved, uh, well, in some kind of capacity, and then uh, a couple others that, that were just like outright denied, or at least some combination of things were approved and some were denied. And um, then uh, we kind of started working on the second round of things. Uh, he was reelected and, and uh, I had actually moved to the city while he was on his uh, trip um, and this all kind of came about through the fact that uh, being out of the city and working on his ideas um, was fine, except that it lacked one major component, which was the voice of the people. And um, something that I brought up to him was it would be great if, if I could hear from more people and could ask them the questions that we're not getting asked. Uh, and so his response was absolutely. Um, let's try and get you here. Uh, and so I, that's what he did. He he became an advocate for me to get moved into the city. Um, I, that happened. I moved here in, uh, what, late July, I guess. And so, yeah, I've been here since then. Uh, and until um, about a week ago, had been working pretty closely with him on trying to set up a lot of efficiencies inside the mayor's office, um, especially since uh, the a lot of the things that he wanted to work on were... Um, new concepts the the mayor's office in general has historically been very administrative and i think what we've seen with him is that he is extremely charismatic but he's not very administrative as a person he more is focused on just um being seen and that kind of leadership which is again fine there's nothing that says you can't do that um, but it requires a really good team to do that and so he had hired um, a pretty great staff of uh, deputies. Um, however, some of them ended up stepping down at the, the turn of the um, second term. And so what I ended up trying to do with my organization was spin up three pieces. This is where I'll transition from Mickey's administration to what I was trying to do. Um, three pieces of what I wanted to do. The first was focused on the politics. And that was as a consulting organization, hiring the right people who could basically be an extension of the mayor's office or the extension of the mayor's team in a consultative capacity in whatever form that needed to take. One was I hired somebody who is actually really experienced outside the city in, um, we'll say government financials. Um, so reviewing all the budget requests that are coming in, making sure they made sense. Pardon me. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, so I hired someone who, was basically an accountant, but I hired her on as like a, a VP of finance or CFO. Um, I hired on Bunny, who is, you know, former mayor and very passionate about educating people on um, what the office entails and kind of demystifying the position of the mayor and, and the politics in the city, which I'm also very passionate about. Uh, and so the two of us were kind of collectively after not just doing the work that Mickey wanted us to do, but kind of like helping make things more public about what was going on inside the mayor's office. Uh, and that's where we started to hit some roadblocks, um, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, then I hired some people on to specifically do other pieces of the work that he wanted to do. There were some contracts he needed written up. So I hired a lawyer there was, she, he needed some cars purchased. So I hired on somebody who was like specializing in car things. Uh, and, and that's where I think there started to be miscommunication and this is part of the reason I ended up stepping down was all of this was at his direction but probably without his understanding of what the scope of it was really going to entail uh, because I'm not a specialized consultant I, I know one thing very well and that's that's operations 
I know how to hire the right people. Um, I can tell pretty quickly if someone's going to fit within an organization that I'm working for. I am a great consultant in that kind of capacity, whether I'm working uh, inside a specific organization, I kind of like learn and, and can check the pulse of however they, they want to work uh, and figure out who's going to fit and who's not. Um, and then uh, we, from there, um, kind of had two other arms of our business that we were trying to operate in. The other one, where one of them was a healthcare arm that I'm still trying to work in. Um, the other thing that I do in a very specialized manner is I'm an engineer um, and I work on, um, we'll say specialized technology. Uh, there are things that wow. I, yeah, I want to bring to the city. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, that uh, I'm a little hesitant to share at, at this point because we're still oh, trying to- Oh, you mean to, you like, like to build things? Well, I don't like to build things. I like, I like to design things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, different different concepts between engineering and manufacturing. Do you mean like building stuff outside of this, bringing it in? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, more just conceptualize. Oh, okay. Comes up with ideas, and then you know yeah, someone yeah, else yeah. makes it happen. Exactly. Yeah, I'm. Okay. I am uh, in the business of ideation. It's probably the cool. best way to to talk about it. Like an Elon Musk. Yeah, exactly. And then hiring the right people to bring those ideas to life. Right. Okay. Um, so I, I had been designing, uh, and figuring out how to implement some healthcare technology, uh, in this city, there is a huge need, especially for, um, and, and actually this, the, the way this idea it ended up manifesting was not just the technology to implement some healthcare changes, but what kinds of things could affect the doctors specifically, like specialized certifications to use the technology uh or like um be certified oh, I wish drew we're here to hear this conversation oh drew do we need to wait do i need to come back to it uh let me check on that's okay he's on the phone yeah they're they're on the phone not binary oh sorry i'm just a boomer i'm working on it so hard though I <laughs> I know. Every time I do. it's why i keep reminding you uh one sec let me take this phone call Hey, Bunny. Hi, how's it going? Pretty good. I am in a meeting. Can I call you back in a little bit? Yes, you can. Okay. What is your afternoon looking like? Um, a lot of panning. A lot of what? Gold panning. Gold panning. Oh, panning so for gold. you'll you'll be <laughs> relatively free for a conversation. I'll be a, I'll be pretty available. Yeah. Dope. Would you like for me okay. to join you? Um, you're more than welcome to. I will have Charlie with me most likely. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be at I'm gonna be at Bahama Mamas for probably the next like 20 minutes or so. Okay, this will definitely um, so if take you're meeting, longer than 20. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, well, um, you have a great meeting, and then just call me after. Okay. Thanks. I'm good. Bye. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, bye, bye. Speaking of my business partner. Oh yeah, I have to say hi to Bunny. I haven't spoken to her since I got back. Yeah, Bunny is great. Bunny. So. Winning. I actually have one question for you. Yeah. Uh, what are, uh, what do you hope to get out of Weasel? Uh, your success. Great. That's exactly okay. what I want too. Yeah, but like, selfishly, I mean, like no one's fully altruistic about these things. What's your angle? See, I, that's that's the weirdest thing. Everyone thinks I have an angle. I I genuinely don't. Well, you kind of need an work here, sir. So I need an, I need an angle. Uh, an angle. Okay, okay, then, an angle. then my my angle is I don't like seeing monopolies exist in this city, and to have ah. learned that LSBN now works for uh, Cerberus, I hate that. Interesting. They denied. They uh, Dylan Dubs lied to my face about that. You know how I know that's not true is because he approached Mickey and asked for a lot of money, and that proposal mm -hmm. got sent directly to me. Why is Ari calling me? I can't answer my phone. I still need a doctor. Uh, we can't hear her probably. Oh. Did somebody call a doctor? Okay. Just say there's a malnourished ginger man that needs ginger root. Okay. Well, I mean, I can call 911 if you need me to. Or, I, I mean, I, I require medical assistance. I'm starting to fade. Can I take you to the hospital? Uh, I think that um lately there's been a lot of that and the ems their chance to respond uh, not something that 
We should at okay. least give the MS a chance to. Sure. Hello. Hello? I can hear you. What? Why can't I hear nothing now? What is happening? Oh, there we go. Now. I can hear you. Okay. Yes. Um, can you guys step out of the house and come back in? Because, yes. uh, yeah, I'm in trouble seeing you guys after I left. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Thank you. Bye. Uh -huh. Bye. Uh, Ari needs us to step out of the house and then back in. Take me away, Chelsea. Oh, okay, we're starving man in two meth. Who needs an IV or something? <laughs> an IV or something. I'm a doctor, goddammit. Allegedly. Are you still a doc? I think you need to take me outside, though. Perhaps we could continue this conversation in the driveway. Are you what, are you kicking me, Chelsea? I'm trying to pick you up. Oh, thank God. Ari, where are you? Oh, there. I can see you now. I just can't see Travis. I'm trying to pick up Travis to take him outside. Where's he at? Exactly. He's in the chair, probably. Uh, oh, just try to carry him, maybe. Sometimes. Yeah, I was. I was trying to do that too. I was having no luck. That's why he didn't answer. Something's happening. Yeah, we got there him. it is. Oh, you got him. Okay, I can see him now. You now we can see him. him. He's also yeah, kind of like, him, you know, no, unconscious, I think. Oh, uh, what? what's now? What? You know, like, malnourished. Oh, we got to take him to uh, the hospital? Yes. Lock the door the hospital. for now. All right, door locked. I can get a car out from here. Let me see. The EMS is coming. EMS oh, is okay. Coming. Well, we'll have to pick them up anyway. Let's see. I got a night blade or a bike. So oh, what either did, what, one, they're all what like... What did Drew go, by the way? Well, I guess we could do the... Oh, no, the Ellie. We can do the Ellie because someone can sit in the trunk. did Drew go? Uh, Drew had to go run an errand. They said they would be back uh, after. Okay. Sadly, I've only got this two I'm so bad with pronouns. I'm going to get better. Oh yeah, the EMS will pick you up. I need to see if I threw some crap in the back of this thing. So this is Suri's car. Have you been on a car, say? I have not. Oh, you need to meet- Oh my god, we have gold nuggets back here. I forgot about- A whole bunch of gold nuggets. I still haven't figured out what to do with gold nuggets. You sell them to Patar. Or someone else from the Mandem. Hello, he's over here. Hey, Ayub. Hey, guys. Hey. Always forget. Guess who? Guess who forgot to feed me, Ari? Oh, it's my fault, Fe is it? You're a you're you're an adult. Just so. Yeah. <laughs> I only have to worry about feeding Suri, not hey, you. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Adult. Yeah, it's good. How are you? All right. I am Mel. an adult child. I'm good, how are you? Hey, Jack, what are you doing? Pretty good. Oh, you want me to... Oh, yeah, you're doing, you're doing a patient care. Are you, are okay. you going to do baby bird? All right, we're going to put you in IV. Just make sure you get the fluids oh, in. Okay. Then we'll give you something to eat. They don't get you on your feet. No, Thank just you, baby bird them. Just baby bird them? Does anyone have, have food on bird. them? I don't want to do baby bird. Do it, because he doesn't want it. Yeah. Have a short rice sandwich. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. We'll Shoot get you up on your feet in three, two, one. Hey, oh, I feel so much better. There you go, my dude. Now, because sure you're you that sandwich, you can't feed I'm, himself, you don't, I'm gonna have to feed you. Thank you, guys. Eat. You're most welcome. Yeah. Look at you. Strong and healthy. Here we go. What are you doing? Well, healthy might be a bit stronger, but, uh, you know, hanging out with friends. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Do anything illegal, right? No, absolutely not. We're having a very oh my. business meeting. Oh, shit. Okay. The internet it's trouble. Just a very sensitive person. Yeah, it's an Ellie. Did you head pop or something? Oh, is that a name? Ellie. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Travis. Sorry. 
Are you trying to purposely hurt yourself so the EMS will take you to the hospital? No. <laughs> Get me out of this boring meeting. Oh my gosh. I'm kidding. Uh, wow, I am Everybody terribly look offended. I'm punch him. Well, no, no offense, but the only reason that you're here is so that I don't have to do this kind of shit in the future. That's fine. I'll pay you good for it, too. Yeah, Pretty much. Yeah. We pay you Sounds good nothing, to me. Except okay. for clocking him with the news. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. we gotta show you how to clock him. Are we sure oh, yeah. Drew's okay? Yeah, Drew said he was, or they were fine. Let me unlock the but door. I think he got kid. I think they got kidnapped. No, um, they got a phone call. Um, they answered away when I called them. All right, come on in. Oh god, my head's butting. Yeah, it's yeah, that a little snug in here. It used to be worse. It used to be incredibly bright in here too. I took out a lot of lights. Like so bright that it was like painful. Okay. So just continue with whatever you were talking about, because I don't know how long Drew will take. Drew's dead, and you guys Drew's don't give not a fuck. Dead. I refuse wow. to believe that. This week on Weasel News. <laughs> <laughs> this week, live. Mm -hmm. So you were talking about the the healthcare. Yep. Up and then so so healthcare work. is one arm, uh, and then and then the third arm uh, we have. Um, dissolved because of my work with the FIB. And it was uh, at one time defense contracting uh, or engineering rather, uh, designing weapons technology. Uh, Cause I used to work for a company called Marheed Locked In, which is a global aerospace engineering Holy company. Smokes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot, Travis. I've done a lot good. of really big stuff. Good, good, good. Uh, but what I was doing at Marheed Lockton was operations engineering. <laughs> it's a very specialized kind of thing, pulling together major projects while also working on the projects. Uh, so um, that's kind of my background. And now what I do at the FIB is operations and engineering, literally the same job just at the federal level, you know, in Los Santos, uh, right now kind of putting together our fundamentals and eventually we'll be working on technology. Uh, but for now that's kind of on hold. Uh, and then yeah, uh, the medical stuff is its own thing, which is still a little bit on delay just because mm -hmm. the city is not ready for it yet. Um, true, true. Everything moves at the snail's pace as much as it also moves yeah. kind of fast. There's a lot of people in the city that also don't like change. That's true for a city that repaints itself regularly. Right? Yeah. Little Soul is a guy war zone. That's true. Yes. Good news, though. It's like, yeah, it does. Yeah, like, I really wish I could get access to the roof of the building. That's one thing maybe we can work on. Which building? Yeah, it would be great to the, be able to get keys, get keys oh, to okay. the roof, at least. I understand not having keys to LSBN. I even understand having keys to the theater if they're supposedly the ones that technically own it or whatever. I don't know if they actually paid for it or not. The but is, the if we can at like the very time. least... Yeah, the roof uh, would be really helpful because, um, you know, we, we could have a lofty goal of eventually getting a helicopter um, or what have you. But even being able to film from the roof is something that... Yes. I, I feel like I used to... I feel like in a previous life I used to do a lot. A lot, it's a great yeah. spot. It and, is. Uh, Anyways, that's but that's that's like that's nothing. That's like not even on my radar, to be honest. Sure. I just smoked just a big joint before we started this meeting. Okay. God so, damn it, Travis. You know, just a little free association. Kind of want a Slurpee too. So. Oh, Slurpee sounds so good. Right Actually, now. would rather have a Slurpee right now than or roof like, access to be. Or even honest. better, like. That's a so short term. Sonic drink. Or even better, a news app. However, that being yeah. said. Even better, a news app. <laughs> well. Yeah. Sure. I don't think we need it, but that's just me. Yeah, You're not a it, writer, though, Travis. And yeah, also, it, that's true. The, the benefit to the app, you can actually, you know, post up your your videos there to be like, hey, and we can even have the writers do a little write up about your video and be like, check this out, blah blah blah, and then would, bam, have a link to your video there. I would like to have a tab on the news app. I don't think there should be two yeah. news apps. I think that's dumb. Yeah, I think there should be like a tab for news and then they can select their news, either LSBN or Weasel. 
but I kind of feel like that would be more difficult. It's, it's also a Possibly. LSBN specific app. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it would actually be more difficult to just to than yeah. speak for just our own. Well, yeah. essentially, it would be the exact same app, but they would just have to swap the logos. Right. And yeah, then... and our weather would not be the same as LSBN weather. Why not? Oh yeah. Because ours is. We better. don't have uh, the we weather machine better, like they do. Better weather. Oh, there isn't a weather tab. I thought. That, oh, sorry, I, I, I thought there was a weather tab. Huh. Oh uh, no, they have a music tab. That's no, what no, it is. Okay. And I don't know how that works, honestly. I don't think they really manage that. I think it's just automatic. Yeah, it's it's automatic based on uh, like listens mm -hmm. on uh, Spotify or something. Yep. Interesting. So they don't even manage that. They just have it there for people to check out. Yeah. It's just automatic. So there, obviously, construction proposal that you have. Uh, mm hmm Things that you can add into the proposal could also be things like a news app uh, that all qualifies as construction. Um, yeah. I also like the helicopter idea. A weasel news helicopter would be dope. Mm -hmm. It's just expensive as fuck. Yeah, I, but just, yeah, I, if we're requesting state funding. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm. Yeah, I know it probably is annoying to see an RA to hear this at this point because I say it all the time, but I just want to make sure that you know where I stand on that too. Like, I don't care about any of that stuff. It would be nice, but I, I'm not personally interested in for anything like that. I think that we're awesome despite that. Yeah, sure. Uh, I know what I'm saying. I don't want it, but it's on the top of my stuff to do. But I do understand that for the writing department, it, it yeah. seems like a critical uh, piece. Of I, yeah, final. I'm going to be honest. Uh, like for me, it's, uh, you know, like I don't almost have it, we will have her, basically. Yeah, mm. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, but uh, so an app I can get on board with, you know, but asking for a helicopter and all that shit. Like, helicopter, I don't I care. I wouldn't uh, ask for a helicopter, but I still like the idea of us asking for funds just for the company, just to function. Um, it yeah. would be ideal. Well, and again, the the thing, again, I'm I'm more of a an idealist, right? So so the way that I have structured, and I'm only kind of going off of the way I structured my personal business request when I put that in, to have some of that stripped back, the way I've put in the the whole FIB proposal, which is now pretty massive, uh, is kind of like short term goals. What do we need today? What do we need kind of midterm? And then what do we think will be you know, a long-term mm. city repaint itself long-term. Um, the the difference between what we're probably going to do here operationally versus something that's federal is who it goes to, right? This is a request that's going to go through the deputy's office, the deputy mayor's office, uh, and then um, Andy Jones, basically. Uh, the deputy mayor's to um, help get us funding from Mickey. Uh, Ari, you're going to have to be the one to submit it because oh, yeah. Mickey hates my guts at the moment. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and then, uh, which means you for sure need to retain your CEO title. Why does he oh. hate you? Uh, understood. Yeah, so, so because our business was structured around trying to... Oh, this is such a long, stupid story. <laughs> It was structured around doing Summed everything up. he wanted us to do, but without communicating it appropriately because Mickey doesn't read his emails. Uh, he thought that I was trying to, quote, usurp his power, which makes literally no sense because a private company doesn't have the ability to make decisions in the city. Uh, being a drama queen. Yeah, he was being dramatic and then thought I was trying to, like, undercut something Cerberus was working on which also doesn't make sense because I literally have no interest in Cerberus. Uh, in fact, I, I oh, hate- Oh yeah, he shares yeah. our hate with Cerberus, Travis. Oh great, because we're really the little do. guy. Yep. Well, and that's, that's like kind of how I feel. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. Like I, I, I have a disdain for the concept of a monopoly in general, right? I think that, and that's the whole thing that like part of the reason I partnered with Bunny is because she was a mayor for the little guy. Mm -hmm. um versus someone like emma gain who was yeah um, fuck emma a little more uh look at me and my big britches and all the things i can do yep. to support other people 
Um, so, so yeah, I, I want to continue to go that route. Uh, unfortunately, I know that there are probably some partnerships that need to happen in this city, right? Um, to make things happen. We will have to get things done from the Senate's perspective. We will have to get things through construction. We'll have to have, uh, and I know right. Dean owns the construction company. Um, but that's not something that's like a requiment that you partner with Cerberus to do that. Right. That's just going the better proper not be route. ever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get that. So, um, that's, that's kind of where, uh, and until Mickey is out and, and basically the way that this unfolded was, uh, the FIB offered me a job the same day that my company decided to dissolve its defense arm. Uh, well, well, I guess that was t in tandem, right? I said, we don't need to also have a consulting arm if I'm working directly for the FIB. Uh, and I had been putting together a proposal for Cerberus to see if they would be our manufacturing arm. Um, and, uh, pitching specific designs that I had been working on for like a month and a half and actually really for like five months before I moved to the city. Jesus. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, it was part of my proposal to move to the city, uh, and in all of my, um, city documents. I don't know how to explain that. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. and, and, uh, and yeah, and, and in my proposal for my business as well, that never got read, uh, because Mickey doesn't read. He just approved it for whatever reason. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I hey, we're, we're that the same cloth. Cloth. <laughs> That's how our, our proposal got accepted the same way. The That's dude true. Was like, actually. Uh, Fuck it. I hate my life. And, uh, here you go. And Don't then he the died a day or two one. later. And then he died. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Actually, uh, us, speaking of uh, no. Mickey, I've been hearing a lot of reports of just like requests to the mayor's office, like dying on a desk and like forever to get a response to. Yeah. And just like things not happening. Uh huh. So, any serious requests might have to wait for the next administration? Well, yeah. No, I'm okay with that. You know, uh, but oh, whatever so, works. One, I have two ideas. Okay. One, I have one thing that you probably doesn't know. Nobody's gonna like, but I don't. I have a lot of money coming in in the near future. You know, my, my now, now that I, I live here now, you know, my my last news report, once it was done, I I I flew in and got three advertisers and made a hundred thousand dollars in about a half an hour. Nice. And my next one, just for Joseph Arrowhead's commercial, we're bringing in three hundred thousand dollars. Like I don't Sick. think money's gonna be an issue. That's great. So I don't think we should get government funding. However, okay. we can always other... table it and then see how the funds go, you know, and that can just yeah. be something we can scoop up if we're desperate. Yeah. Perfect. But I mean, my other idea, though, was that, uh, you know, you're here uh, because and I think we can do that I need somebody to uh, make sure I don't make terrible decisions. Right. So I <laughs> sure. also wanted to suggest that uh, the five of us, including Drew, uh, you know that uh, nothing goes through without without a vote. You know, Love and that. I'll sign a contract yeah. if I have to. But I, I the best way, you know. And I'm hoping you're not a John Scully. You know, I'm looking for a Mike Markla. If you know, what I don't understand those references. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that reference. Well, I'm. You know, I, is very I'm old. kind of like the. Uh, have you ever heard of a uh, Steve Jobs? Hello? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, no, Steve Jobs. Uh, he, you know, he owned uh, the company uh, Apple, and his first investor was Mike Markla. And Mike was a good guy, you know, he was a visionary. The and then at the peak of their popularity in the mid eighties, they hired the Pepsi challenge guy Let me get and idea. things didn't go so well. So I'm just wondering if you're, if you're Mike Mark. Uh, hey, stand yeah. up for a second. Yes. Yeah. You see them now, Drew. I cannot hear Drew. I can see, but I cannot hear them. Okay, Chelsea can see you. I can see you and hear you, you, Drew. I'm here. I'm here, Maybe Drew. Maybe move oh, okay. a little bit. There's Chelsea. Oh, heck, I can bit. hear you now. Okay, there good. we go. Okay, yep. now we're There's good. There's Mr. Kelly. Yep. My apologies. Perfect. Just had to jump. Perfect timing. All right. Uh, anyways, I, I digress. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping you're a Mike and not a John. Uh, but my, I think that, uh, if we could all agree to that, if there, we needed to write up some kind of contract or whatnot, but I don't think uh, any executive decisions should be made from here on further forth without like a vote that yeah. you know goes in favor of because i disagree with a lot of stuff that you guys want but uh but i don't want to you know i don't want to rain on any any parade right like because there's just certain things that i don't care about 
But that doesn't sure. mean that I'm right about it. It just means that I just want to do my thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, support it. Okay. okay. I like that, that being said, my position that I want in the company is that when when anything needs something, you just ask me for it and you get it. When it comes to media. Okay? Not, sure. And, if it's a whole magazine, that's a kind of a different story. We're gonna have to staff for that because it's a whole different part department. But right. in terms of marketing and, and video media, or you know all the little stuff, like that's what I want to do. And then, mm -hmm. you know, my reports and stuff like that. But I just want to be the person that cranks out the stuffs. Love it. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. I want to do some video stuff soon again. Maybe. Maybe you can can help. Like maybe we can collaborate on something. Or, sure, I don't know. that would be nice. But what? But what do you think is the next step for us? Like, what should we start working on? In your opinion, that's a good question. I here's, mean, here's staffing would be nice, right? Okay, so here's the thing: five of us, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't see like a huge like recruitment rush. And I'm going to be blunt: like that's the one thing I do not want to do is go out and recruit and uh, you know like talk to like every like last fucking grinder in the hope that mm -hmm. one of them is about to string two sentences together right. i don't want to do that uh mm -hmm. so think... the way i'm Go thinking ahead, is we're gonna have literally things going on uh the video reports and the magazine and uh for now uh that's it both projects would again be no pressure release when they can mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna give all of us the room to breathe and do other things but as i promise anything regarding the magazine is not my decision to make so drew what do you think hmm maybe we well, should oh sorry go ahead drew my thinking is uh if we do want to have a magazine running might be a good idea for us to have a solid idea of scope Figure out what it is we want to cover specifically and uh, start to tailor the media around that specifically. Sure. Rather than being scattershot like we were with the newspaper. Uh, yeah. what's, what's your vision for it? I'm not sure. I mean, Can you... don't really want to pin Weasel down to one thing. What do you folks think should be a good vision for that? Uh, Could you like, maybe explain uh, to Mr. Kelly first your, um, your idea for 404 Media and the 1041, I believe it is? Uh, that's just correct. for your, for your company because that is on the table that's something that that is also part of this equation in in some way all right well my plan for 404 was to be a media centering on los santos not uh not necessarily the people in it and not the city as a whole but a combination of those two how they work in conversation and our premier project was going to be the 1043 uh sort of sporadic magazine where we interview folks who have uh, distinct perspectives of the be it if they uh, do weather reports or if they are a police officer or if they say run the Bank of Canada just things that uh, are life in the city that folks may not necessarily know about mm -hmm. so one thing Drew and I talked about would be we start off with again interviews with certain individual or uh, so we're going to start with uh, what I'm hoping would be my first piece for that, uh, which would be a piece on plus one, you know, like interview like Reina and Veronica, like basically how like they met, how they started plus one, how it grew their vision for it, how they influenced the city, you know, have a good interview, like sort of a like character piece, company profile on them. But obviously, you know, like on their lighter side of the magazine and associated with that then we can have other pieces that follow the same themes that are influenced by it uh say like stories like plus one and based a lot on the idea of friendship and companionship like the whole idea behind the business so we can write essays on that uh we can again write profiles about people who met uh, through that we try to go a little bit deeper into that not just have it be one article but build up a team from it I was wondering if one of the things that Weasel and 
Weasel could start working on so that at least we all have, we know that we have a direction is what's going to happen with 404 Media. Because I, you know, like I said, Drew, uh, if you want to start a company, I think I think all of us would be more than happy to help you do it, right? But if, uh, and that would be good for everyone. And maybe we could work with Weasel News, or if you wanted to do the magazine just through Weasel and get that going. Um, but maybe we could start working on a solution to that, if that's agreeable. Because I, th I just I think it's going to I think it's just going to decide what what we start working on in terms of written content, right? Right. Whoa. Goodness. Meteor. It's pretty close. But I and, and I mean, do you see it? Do you see a scenario, Drew, where like you are going to start going? Have a business proposal written up yet? I've been working on it, but uh, not in any state of completion yet. What if we, for the time being, paid you for like we cut it, we we paid you for the for the magazine, and then when you're that way, you could start working on a magazine now. And if you, you know, because that's what you that's what everybody wants to work on, right? That's what I want to work on. Uh, but, but again, the way it's done, I think should be uh, juice because Jews been dutifully following along supporting us mm -hmm. all along and i think this is the first time that drew's going to really lead their own project be like the head of something like put like really put in their mark on the city the way they mm -hmm. want and i think we need to give them the space and the time to do that their way okay yeah no that's that's do you agree with that drew is that is that is that your vision I mean, my thought process was, and uh, hmm, as gently as I can phrase it, I would prefer that in mind for the 1043 doesn't dilute what Weasel is doing, and mm -hmm. vice versa. Oh yeah, of course. I, I just, I guess, what I'm getting at is, um, like maybe the question gonna be, should be: Are there two magazines that are going to be happening, or just the one? Yeah, exactly. Like, what what would comprise the written content of Weasel News if 404 Media was a separate entity? Uh, if for media is a separate entity, I don't see the Anton Weasel also having a magazine. So then maybe we should push for the app then. Maybe we, maybe really we mm -hmm. should focus our efforts mm -hmm. on doing something the, and pushing for an app. I mean, I, I, speaking for myself, which, you know, let's be real, regardless of what app and I would be writing a lot of the content because it's what I do. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am to be, uh, doing drew's magazine regardless if it's okay. Drew weasel 404 uh if it's like regardless of how it happens i will i will be contributing content to that beyond that i am hoping to just you know write the occasional news article like i've always done uh obviously i the have whole newspaper you wrote like 80 percent of the newspaper yeah I like that <laughs> twice three times in a row yeah, I have about uh, like 70 articles to my name in uh, two different cities. The uh, but anyway, uh, like like right now, I have the opportunity to freelance a bit for LSBN, which I might do. In the meantime, it keeps my doors open. It uh, keeps me. Obviously, if Weasel were to have a news app, that would be great. Realistically, I know the city works. I know how. Uh, the Senate thinks, I know the construction company thinks, it's probably never going to happen. Because Sloan, you might not believe in Monopoly, but the people who run this city don't give if I there's a Monopoly. Monopolies. Yeah, like in their mind, there's like the news are an afterthought, there's an app. If there's like two, three people in the city doing it, good enough. Cause okay. The... Oh, sorry, I thought you were done. I, I was just gonna say, like, and this is, uh, this is a city that's being run by gangs, and the powers that be are mostly interested in how the cops can contain these gangs, and ninety percent of the Senate's efforts is relegated to that, and the business community has always suffered as a result. That's the hard truth that we have to accept. Right. Okay. So one thing I want to say is 
I feel like how should I put this? I I understand that view, and I I think it's important to to let Sloane know that. Yes, uh, I will also say we don't know shit until we ask, and the worst that they can do is say no. They say no, we shrug, we continue. It's not like our hearts. It's not going to be the end of the world. Um, but we won't know until we actually fucking ask. We've literally never asked. We've talked about it, you know, ho hummed about it, decided it was the worst idea, decided, eh, you know, maybe it's whatever. We we can still try to ask if we want to. Um, and, you know, Sloan's got some interesting ways to um, present it, which might help. Um, if they say no, fine, so be it. At that point, we can, you know, reconvene and figure out, okay, what's our game plan? Or, I mean, we could even discuss that now. And if they say no, this will be our next plan of attack. So um, the, the concern I guess I have now would be, if they say no, do you even want to write for Weasel anymore? Um, because you're going to be doing a magazine for Drew's company which means we're probably not going to have a magazine for Weasel, which means the writing ideas um, are pretty wide open and there's nothing really specifically fo for writing aside from maybe scripts and stuff for, you know, whatever shows or news well, things that we do. That is one thing I wanted to ask about. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, I just want to correct the worst thing that can happen is not that they say no, it's that they say maybe for like eight months straight and we never get a straight answer. And uh, which is like a possibility we should be prepared for because that happened to a lot of people in the city. That uh, continues to happen for another company I work for, so. Yeah, exactly. So, what company uh, is that? Well, the confections. Is that not happening now? It's in a perpetual state of whenever the state decides whether or not ah, restaurants yeah. are coming back. Gotcha. Yeah, I, so, I think there's, so yeah. there's a, a, let me answer or, or address that one really sure. quickly. So restaurants being a unique economic problem is very different than uh, what we're talking about here, which is not economically based. Uh, restaurants have caused a major shift in the equilibrium of uh, how much money has influxed in the, in the, total economy and we have a huge surplus of cash um which is why we keep seeing inflation happen uh and that's why they keep shutting down restaurants and screwing over storefronts what we're trying to propose at this juncture is like hey this is a quality of life improvement um not not just selfishly based on us but something that could like be an asset to the people of los santos drew what you're proposing here is we want to start spotlight featuring people with a magazine that I want to do through 404. What Weasel is bringing collectively is more entertainment that is not just competitive to LSBN, right? And, and I think this goes back to what I was saying earlier, which is competition breeds innovation, right? If you get a lot of the same, and, and it's not just LSBN, right? We know Marlo is also uh, putting out entertainment out there. Um, at this juncture, though, how is that entertainment being displayed? Um, if it's not on the big screen, where else is it going? I think for us, it's something that we may have that it could be unique is, and, and obviously we don't have to have a proposal by the end of this meeting. Um, no. we, we can be thinking outside the box here, which says what can be Weasel's big mark on the city that's something unique that lsbn doesn't have they've got a big theater okay what could we do that's different maybe a drive-in we've already did they that they don't do the news yeah fair yeah. unbiased journalism uh, they don't actual have, investigative journalism i mean the, they don't i mean they kind of do it but it's like not news broadcast like what, mm -hmm. what we do is like actually unique i don't yeah well i'm i'm and thinking even even physically right okay uh this is... We do it with our pants off. Oh, God. Okay. Not, Everybody take your pants off. Okay. I'd rather not. Oh, Damn. I'm already not wearing pants. True. <laughs> All right, bad idea. Well, I, I mean, and we're talking about construction requests here, right? So so an app is recreating what's already in existence. True. Is there something else, right? This is this is I where mean, being there a... Is. There's, there there's is. There's one thing in particular, but I don't know if it's something that is capable of being done. And I know someone else, I think it was Fatoni, was trying to push for it. And I don't know that 
there's anybody that has the ability to happen here. And that is like to have an app that you can actually videos on have like the, having them. the internet, you know, so you, your phone, you got your little go there and you hit play and it plays on your phone. Right. I, um, that's inter then really difficult. I think the reason yeah. why we don't have it is because there might be pretty significant with restrictions. Yeah. On the phone, but oh, I don't know, and there might, there's probably also, you know, the, the music situation, making sure it doesn't play things okay. that it shouldn't be playing. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, uh, like, mm -hmm. like even advertisement, uh, anything, uh, like DMCA related is a huge, huge red flag in the city. That's what I was referring to. Yeah. 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 So yeah, uh, but like, like truth is like the, uh, the difference between Weasel and LSBN, I'll, I've always been more around the style. Like I feel LSBN have just tend to be the uh, like like quick and dirty, like like quick news, like you know like breaking news. Whereas Weasel, we because we had more time, we're always a little bit more investigative, and. Uh, which I know a lot of people appreciate it. Like I've had, like there used to be a while where DOC would have no contact with LSBN whatsoever. No, they would only speak to Weasel because uh, LSBN were just too quick to put whatever without taking the time to look into it. Mm. And basically fell from, well, straight up lies that inmates had made up about uh, DOC guards. Um, the only thing well, about that... Does actually that... relate to the question I had. Um, I just want to add something up really quickly, which is our written news has been that way, but like our video news with Travis's stuff is really more lighthearted, less investigative reporting, and more. Um, but I don't know what you would, yeah, explain it. It's different. Have you seen a copy of my, uh, or sorry, my, oh my God. Have you seen a copy of the newspaper, uh, the news, any of the newspapers that we've produced yet? Oh yeah. I'm yeah. Giving them or he gave me a couple. Oh. I think even though like people, particularly LSBN, like people like to talk shit about it. However, it was really well received. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and I, I enjoyed promoting it and, and it was unique and it's something that really could leave a mark on the city if it was something that we decided yeah. to pursue. Yeah, because and the way that you say that, right? But like, yes, the news broadcast is fun, but like you mm -hmm. said, it, it's basically just gonzo, right? It's just my crazy shit that happens. And But the newspaper was something that was really special. And I, I would be willing to, for the sake of doing something truly unique, uh, I would be willing to, you know, to dedicate time to that project. Mm. Sure. Because um, I think that that like i said it, it was just it did actually make an impact and people thought, you know really were it did i i do i do kind of still feel like i i 100 appreciate and love you know that deep investigative journaling thing but i still kind of miss the the visual and idea that i originally had for weasel like ages ago back home where it's more like the fake news that you expect there that people always really expect from yeah kind of like tabloids and silly stuff yeah we're but, pack of weasels but that yeah I mean, that's, pack that's, of weasels exactly yeah that's my but department I, yeah so so here's but I know a, that's not what Chelsea and Drew want here's and a I'm question expecting. though so so two two thoughts coming to my mind first of all brand recognition when when people think news in the city or or any kind of journalism or anything their first thought is what news oh lsb yeah. 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 yeah uh the majority of people and if we're if we're even extending beyond just the city but to the eyes of the city uh weasel is an afterthought so oh, 100%. very much I, so i think that there's there's a couple ways that this can go uh at least in in my mind um love the idea of tabloids especially with the name like weasel it lends itself right. so easily to that um what about a branding split and and you do everything under the moniker weasel as tabloid centered but then oh. if you wanted to do something that was truly investigative you you 
rebrand that something entirely different, right? That could go under four media if that's something. Exactly. That's so basically, we'd go back to four or media under the umbrella. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't have to, right? It can be a different company. Sure. Right. We could. We could just share talent pool. Yeah. Well, I mean, which it, is essentially what what we're proposing right now is exactly what was proposed between Weasel and SPN, by the way. True. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah and yeah. and so you just do it with with uh, an expected partnership agreement once you establish Drew that says, hey, by the way, we're <laughs> we're sharing talent, we're we're sharing resources, and you would share right. an office if you want to. Uh, I mean, because you guys have technical skills that your team would have, like just a different skill set, right? Would need, and we'd have a special skill set that you guys might need. You know? Yeah, and again, like if you need like my services to write, like write scripts or like whatever, like I'd be happy to help. Like you know, you you, you want to do a movie or something? I'd write a script for it. I want to do a play. Is what I want to yes, do. Yes, I want to oh, do a play, play. Would be like something live love... would be so fun. Yeah, I know. Also, if if we were to do some kind of tabloid thing for Weasel, um, if you guys don't want your names to be associated, but you do want to write something wild and crazy just for fun, uh, you could always have like, uh, what do they call them? Yeah, like a, you know, pretend name. Yeah. Mom to Bloom. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was thinking, uh, especially since freelance is uh, one of my options to uh, come up with a few pseudonyms. Because, uh, oh, yeah. like, I, like, I'm going to be real. Like, I've been approached by just so many people to write for them. I might just be able to do all of it under my name. Just, you know, for credibility's sure. sake. Basically, you were going to write for LSBN and a different name. I'm just teasing you. I have to <laughs> meditate for a minute. Also, I think, Drew, you said you had a question and I interrupted you. I've been having thoughts, but try not to interrupt anybody else. I'm going to meditate for a quick second, and then I want to hear thoughts. what you have to say. All right, well, uh, unfortunately, without the same assets that LSBN has, we're kind of uh, up a creek for wit written news, as it were. Much as I'd like to be able to do it, um, not having an app and really not having a good platform aside from doing a great deal of work does sort of limit the things we could write about and still... Hmm. Be relevant? Yeah. And right, fall in relevancy. Yeah, and I, I'm going to be blunt, and uh, and I'm going to be transparent. Like, yeah, I totally am playing a selfish angle a little bit here, but if I do end up uh, going LSB, and part of my conditions for doing that would be that I still have to to work on the magazine, uh, like, that would give me access, that would let me, like, how things are done, and that might help me help Weasel in the long run. I have an idea. So I think yeah, at that point, focus, it sorry. would make more sense for, uh, for example, 404 to work up a partner on SBN, where if we get anything that's immediate news, turf it to them. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. What, what do you, what? What, what? So, what, Travis? Speak up. Oh, uh, uh, I had, a, I had a really great idea, and then I just lost it. Well, Damn it, you and your weed. It. It was a really good one, too, though. But if we would want to do written content as Weasel, specifically, Tabloid is a good pick, because that's super time-relevant. Exactly. I, I think that 404 Media is something that we should focus on getting from a company. And because, you know, like, Weasel News, the brand, could just be, like you were saying, like the crazy weird shit then you know we could all contribute to 404 and then it would be so easy for me to just fuck off and do stuff you know without having to worry about stepping on anyone's toes i would work for you drew i'd help you write your business you really line. step on too many people's toes unless you're trying to make big decisions uh, well uh, i get what i'm getting at like i brought the federales to the news center the other day and they just beat drew to death with a hammer oh god what the fuck so, I mean, it's just... It's and also like, set the office on fire. Yeah. I mean, it's just a different crowd, oh, yeah. you know? And, uh, yeah, and that's uh, that's not okay. Yeah, it's not. It's not. And, and, you know, you guys, you 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 know, like, I, I don't know. I like serious stuff, and I like to do funny stuff. 
same. That's why I I kind of think this is an, a neat idea to be able to have both yeah. Four Four and Weasel and be able to kind of go between depending on you know the different things we want to do. Yeah, because I mean to be honest, like I've been tolerant of the funny stuff, but it's not my scene. <laughs> I know that you got both you and Drew. You're very yeah. You know you're very serious, very investigative. And that stuff is still amazing and important too. Like we don't want to, yeah, throw that away. It's equally as important to me. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I like to do, you know. I mean, like, things Drew laughs a lot on the inside. I mean, that's true. Yeah, I do find folks rather funny. <laughs> it's just about how you present your content, though. That's, I mean, that's so... what we're talking about. So what do we all think about this idea of know. kind of juggling both companies and having Weasel refocus more on the sillier side of stuff and having the more serious sided stuff, you know, go through 404? And does Drew want us to do that? Because it is their company. And, you know, would they, would they want that for that company? I have an idea, actually, if you're willing to entertain the uh, proposal. We keep the 1043 uh, more or less as is, or rather, we shift that name to the thing I'm thinking, which is anytime we find an article that we really want to dig our teeth into, do a lot of uh, investigation into, work it from a lot of angles, something that wouldn't suit LSBN's single article published kind of thing, we put that on the 1043, and then we have a bunch of writers write a bunch of articles that take it from as many angles as we can find, and then that whole thing on its own is one publication yeah we would need to start staffing writers though and you know what that's like yeah the, like, i mean we like, wouldn't have to immediately like let's be real if we want to do the magazine it's probably for the longest time just gonna be the people in this room maybe nigel if he decides to and uh Has i reached out to nigel um, only vaguely, but, um, I have Spoke been meaning to, a little to, bit like, before he, actually, uh, stopped showing um, up as much. I heard from him very briefly recently, and they thought they might come around if... Basically, he just wants to do the newspaper, but maybe we can sell him on the idea of, you know, as long as he can still do investigative reporting, that's what he wants to do. Um, so I can definitely... I'll, I'll try to email him and... See if he wants to come back and and help spearhead that or whatever. I think ultimately the problem is anytime we try and do anything investigative, we'll be climbing up a hill the whole time. Yeah. I mean, He's like stubborn and likes to do that though. Yeah, He's like good in, at it. invest. Yeah, mm -hmm. investigative reporting. The thing is, it comes down to like your credibility and your contact list. Because back in Liberty City, like I just pulled an investigative piece out of my ass every week because everyone knew me. I was on first name basis with all the big wigs and and that's kinda have to build here. But I think the issue is we're gonna run into the same thing we were with the newspaper. Getting print and lined up, getting uh yeah. format and layout lined up, getting all the writers in the yeah, right room that... in the right space, getting all their pieces in the same place. Yeah, like that takes forever. Like as much as I'm able to just like pump out art, nobody's business. Uh, like we still need to do layout, which you know takes gonna, time. To have someone dedicated to it. Uh, I'm gonna reach out to Mila and see if we can. What if we got uh, a printing press? It's that's, unlikely they that's would allow it. That's as big of a that request really? that would be as a very an big app. ask. Yeah. yeah, I can reach Bigger, out I would to think, Mila. Than, yeah and I'll see ask. if she has people that can just do the layout for us. We'll probably just have to pay a little bit more for the, the print, but that would take one thing off of our table. But we, I can see if one, she has people that can do it, and um, two, how much or how long it would take. Instead of huh? pastels, because I think, uh, I think she's the one who usually does it there. Ruby Miles from Artist Studio um, has people. Yeah, there. So, so think Did of you artists. Say Ruby Miles. Yes. Does she own it? She does. Yeah. 
It, I think of Whoa. artist studios basically as like the the label for digital artists and and other forms of artists, like the record label for musicians. Hmm. Here in she's, the city? Yeah, she's basically like that. Um, huh. Yeah, we've been actually before. She, I, go ahead. It, she's an artist, right? She is. Yeah, she uh, she owns the tattoo shop too. Oh, yeah. Look. We can like make the layout part we, be done by somebody uh, else and they can do it numbers. pretty quickly that oh, yeah. would save us a lot of headache i think that actually if this is a road you want to go down um i, I would recommend making that our primary focus yeah mm. seen i think i think i've seen some of her artwork yeah and Ooh. she w whether it's her or she like is always looking to find a way to like bring on somebody like she has basically a giant repository of staff that she works with oh, and through cool. so uh finding us the right oh, yeah, person the, is, useful the, network for that isn't exactly. she the one that's uh start this kind of like artist skill like way way uh -huh. back yep. yeah yeah i remember this is why i have her number yep. yeah i, I remember I there was someone her. working on something similar yeah. but that person now, passed like, away i remember like i that was back at uh dean world i saw just saw her like walking like you know back and forth on the pier by herself and I was just like, like, who is this woman? Like, why is she just like walking by herself? And I just got curious and I went to talk to her. And yeah, that was her. She told me about her idea. Yeah, she's I she's have. awesome. And I think I they would a really be a huge. About that yeah, she'd be a huge asset for us to partner with as well. Just in general for like, I mean, digital art in general is kind of like her specialty and her whole team. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. We could definitely get into the idea. What if we all just quit and go work at Burger Shot? It's not out of... Uh, switch Burger Shot easier. to Shrugway and... Uh, I just got a job at Bahama it. Mama's being a bartender. Oh, hell yeah. We, oh, congratulations. Though, would, I would like to... kind of figure out, though, what we start working on next. You know, I, I, okay, so, uh, okay, Mr. Kelly. Yes, sir. After hearing all of that, what would you suggest would be the appropriate course of action on an executive level moving forward? Uh, so I would love for a couple things to kind of be, um, agreed to or, or finalized. Um, one would be, Drew, if you're, um, wanting to move forward with 404 as its own unique brand um trying to find that means of getting that established um whether or not that's a, a brand itself or its own unique company um then um creating some kind of partnership assumption that we're all basically working collectively on either one of the two brands right i think that's kind of like the first thing right. um I mean, I think that would be pretty built in. Right. Still yeah, want 404 yeah. to be its own company, but pretty much in partnership with Weasel. Yeah. So, get, yeah. so that's that's kind of like a, you know, rather than assuming, just making that a declarative, I'll, um, I'm always over communicate as much as I can. Um, right. So that's, that's kind of the first thing. So then creating separation between the two would be um, if, depending on how we wanted to approach a set of projects, right? Tabloid for um, Weasel. If we wanted to start working on some kind of funny series of things, even if it had no timeline, that could be the, the first action item there. And then uh, the only reason I say that is because Drew is probably going to take a little while to establish 404. And then oh, that certainly. can be the next thing we work on is if you want to have some kind of print something. And it makes sense as well, since what 404 is working on has some overlap with LSBN. Not a great right. deal, but that already exists, whereas the tabloid doesn't yet. So exactly. Making that primary focus makes more sense for us to put our energy there in the onset. Right. Um, so we can probably like the most ideal scenario would be um, figuring out what we want that to look like in scope. Um, what kind of articles we'd want to write. Uh how long it needs to be all the stuff that I'm not going to be good at, but you guys can be good at. Uh, and then probably how you want to release it. And then if we need any kind of additional funding or anything like that, if you want to do like 
advertisements, like selling advertisement space in there. Heck yeah. I think that would be great. We could, we could approach people and say, this is a new thing that's coming to the city. And then I can start working uh, on um, a proposal that we can send to the mayor's office uh, or rather maybe, maybe to the Senate. I don't know exactly, probably the best way to do this. Maybe just Andy uh, for what some of the other ideas we would have. The question is, do we think it's appropriate to try and do a app? Um, I think at this point, maybe not. I think we table that until a later date uh, and just kind of see if we want to continue the, the print route. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't really uh, know what you guys really want. Uh, again, I mean, the... Uh, like, I think... The only person who really wants an app, really wants to use, is me. And you know, let's take the cat bag. Like you know, uh, yes, I'm thinking about doing LSBN on the side if they'll uh, if they don't mind me doing the magazine at the same time. And I actually have a meeting with Charity about that tonight. So the uh, I think with everything else, I agree. You guys can do the video this way. We can do the magazine take our time to again build everything up keep the options open for the future i mean i personally would love to have the app too but you know i i also under like have the same understanding as you do about how difficult that would be um right. so like i'm fine with trying to push for it but if we think you know that we want to try to push for doing the print stuff again right now and see how that goes if it goes poorly then we can try to push for it again. I don't. I don't really care. I mean, we, we can push for it obviously now. Obviously, we of... can we can push for it now and still do the print stuff, right? There's no reason we couldn't. the The question would True. be the the scope of the app would be if we're trying True. to incorporate a general news app. It's now going to contain two separate possible news components: the the more investigative side of 404, and then mm -hmm. also a tabloid. Or are we trying to push for two new apps? That's yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because like what would our app be if we push for it? Would we make it the weasel tabloid feel or would we make right. it the investigative yeah. reporting feel? Well, my thought process is if we want to be relevant for the news, an app is a necessity. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's we what be people will have eyes events, on, honestly. And we relevant for uh, things of note, but news specifically, yeah. the idea of day to day that requires an app so because then, it already exists. We just it, can't compete. It may not be necessarily like the here it here is like you know a a thousand word you know investigative report post. It can be a you know snippets. here's recent shit happened little snippets exactly, yeah. and they can also advertise our stuff. Like Travis makes a video, we could do post something and have that link on there and so forth, and we can like Drew said, yeah, like the advertising, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so maybe the way we could possibly shit. approach this would be a request, and I don't know exactly how LSBN would feel about it, but requesting the news app to be repurposed to include other tabs, like you said earlier. Uh, right? It's been talked about before uh, internally. Uh, this By is who? Uh, like us. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like in the city. Oh, no, like, no, what? no. Like it's, well, no, like I've had like random people like just tell me like, hey, like why can the news app also include Weasel? Because, yep. you know, we've always had people in the city who liked our content more than LSBNs. Okay. I mean, like just now, ever since I got back, like I had a few people recognize me and wondering if the newspaper is coming back. And Well, how about this? What if we... I know, re engineering the news app, I know, it's it's probably, it could, there's, it very well could be a, a very difficult to do. It's obviously doable because it's phones and computers. And you can do there is one thing I'm curious about. Mm -hmm. If we're going to be running the right hand side, or at least the non tabloid side, 404, could I theoretically drum up a partnership with LSBN where if we get anything on their side of it, just turf it to them, or we publish it under that partnership agreement? That way we don't have to worry about rebranding the app whatever you oh i see what you mean oh uh yeah uh, yeah sure that I, I don't see i don't have any problem with that at all i think that's a great idea yeah, yeah. however i don't paid. like it but that's dylan <laughs> yeah oh, well, my god you, everything's so personal <laughs> oh, you know we're on the same you know me and you Ari, we're at the same we're in the same boat right now with dylan right 
Yeah, I know. No, I, 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 I don't love it. it not just because of fuck Dylan, but just because, it. you know, everybody's just going to go, oh, you're LSBN. It's that whole branding thing it'll, again. It'll lose like, the yeah. 404. Yeah, it, yeah. it will. Like, long term, I, I mean, if you think... want to do it, go for it. I'm just saying, I personally don't like it just because well, of that. Well, I mean, but like, short term, I mean, LSBN is the only option for, like, real time news. Long term, and Sloan, you said it best, we want competition, an app would be best. Uh, so, my idea was. If 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 we focused our company efforts now, because the in my head the result of this meeting is knowing exactly what we're going to start working towards next, right? So right. here's my proposal. We start writing a business proposal to re-engineer the news app, and we use the newspaper as our reasoning for doing it. Like, look, we did this these four things. They came out great, but it's it's like just not sustainable. We need to be an app, right? Yeah. I like yeah. that. Then, once we're on the app, we can work branding with 404 Media. Because mm -hmm. here's here, this is going to be the output of asking for that. Right now, the way that the app works is that if you're an LSBN employee, you can use the news app, right? Now, what we're asking for is the ability to let another company use that app, which is going to open the door to any company using that app. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because they're yeah. going to have to oh, yeah. build that functionality in. And by doing that, we'll open the door to get 404 Media their own tab in the app. You see what I'm, you see what I'm getting at? Right. So maybe my vote is that we work on getting our news app going for that reason. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to put that proposal together like, like ASAP. Um, something we can get submitted. Um, and if it's going to be a construction request, then we might as well put that in with the other construction requests. Oh, that mm -hmm. was an old one. We That one was fulfilled. We got it. Okay. Well, we, we didn't get all. everything on that, but we kind of don't need oh. the other half of that right now because okay, gotcha. we're not doing the newspaper. So cool. part of that construction request was the ability to sell newspapers out of the newspaper stands throughout the city. Um, and they never approached us, never answered us on it. We never asked her a no or anything. We just got, here's a lock on your door. Here's your stash. Bye. Yeah. Got... Of publications, though. Still might be yeah. worth talking about. I, Good night. I had, like, That's true. What, like I had Dean Watson's like golf bud something tell me that he really really liked the idea, but nothing concrete mm. came from it. So. Oh, so yeah, I We've guess we could still push for that because maybe we can deposit yeah. magazines or newspapers or whatever tabloids, and maybe there can be a solution. You could be like, do you want the Weasel tabloid? Do you want the news, the 404 newspaper or 404 magazine, or whatever? And the other alternative would be a storefront, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, they probably just tell us just yeah. storefront. And and that's not the worst thing in the world either, right? Would be just printing up a bunch of stuff and throw it in the storefront. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. say that would work well for the four hundred four media umbrella as well, because we exactly. can just become uh, a distributor. Also, since we're all here, um, we definitely Drew and I back when everybody left. Uh, it was right as storefronts were like you know, the ideas were ruminating, but they hadn't actually been implemented. And it was supposed to essentially pick a place they wanted their street to be, take pictures of it, submit a request into a, a deputy mayor, Which and essentially put an address under, you know, that company. And then whenever, you know, you go through your storefront request, you can go, okay, you're the one that requested this first, you're gonna get this or whatever, though I'm sure. That doesn't always happen. Anyway, um, Drew and I did that. We managed to put a... <clears throat> sorry, one second. Hello? Yeah, I am just finishing up a meeting. Uh, you can give me like five or ten minutes. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay, sorry. Um... Oh, yeah, so we had a thing in mind that we submitted, and so Weasel has, like, like technically an address for this building, but I wanted to bring it up because I want to know, Drew, now that you're doing this business, do we want to change that to be for that business eventually once we do get the business submitted and everything, or do we want to keep that under Weasel? I mean, I'd be fine with sharing an office overall. Okay. 
Yeah, Though I, I do know it's uh, pretty far outside of the hubs from the typical storefronts, and that was before we really understood there would be hubs. Oh, that's totally also, fine with me. It's actually funny enough. Um, the place that we picked, we thought was in BBMC territory, and so that's how I know Barry because I called Barry back then and asked him essentially for permission um, to for Weasel to move in there. Um, and he was like, yeah, we love the idea. Just let us know when it gets closer to the time or whatever. Um, but he loved the idea of bringing businesses in the area. So it, it ended up going, you know, like doing a store or something. Uh, we would be moving in kind of near our Benson's back alley motor people. Well, that's, that's really cool. It's a really cool building, actually. I'll have to show it to you. But anyway, I just wanted to get that out there as a FYI, especially for Sloan to just paperwork wise and all that, that we have like a building that we did set up to request. We just haven't really followed through on like storefront stuff since everything's kind of in flux right now. And I mean, last we to... were told officially, it was uh, wait until you hear back from us. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's changed at least twice since then and about to change again. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, now the, so the storefront process had been pretty expansive in how things were requested, uh, as soon as it first came mm -hmm. out, then it changed to, uh, a slightly different version of it where it went to a realtor kind of thing. And then eventually to Dean or Francis, and then eventually it got set up to be through Nancy, Eve, or Ash, and now uh, the requests are basically all going to go through John Miller, and then he'll distinguish whether or not someone can One get a space. guy? And then, the fellow's then head is going to explode. Yeah. But yeah. he'll get Nancy, Eve, or Ash who can actually distribute them um, mm. approval. So it, basically all that to say it doesn't matter if you did it before, you're probably going to need to redo it. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Isn't that fellow also... Uh... Head of the factory. Yeah, that's why. Because most never of the stuff oh. is over or through the factory anyway. So yeah, that's also something to consider paperwork wise and for the company because you know there there's a potential storefront stuff if we want to sell stuff that way. It would still be cool to be able to do the the newspapers, you know, or the magazines through the actual newsstands, but I'm sure they'd be like, it's just easier to just do a storefront at this yeah, point. I mean, yeah, and can't we just, like, sign contracts with various storefronts, have them carry the magazine? Uh, probably Good, more probably not as much Rather anymore, not. because uh, storefronts oh, have yeah. to declare a specialty now. Yeah, uh, they so have to let, they're only allowed to yeah, sell certain things. isn't something that includes, like, miscellaneous items, then they wouldn't be able to do it. That's why Amazon doesn't sell the um, parachutes anymore. Right. They're legally not allowed to. Found that out yesterday. I was curious about that. It seemed very uh, Illegal. literally precarious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm sure it's Cause... probably to combat the thing where, like, people either sell everything or, you know, they have access. You know, kind of like the issue they had back in the day where people would just get food and coffee and bandages and everything that they wanted. Exactly, your one-stop shop. From, yeah, exactly. And they didn't Knuckle have to really pay much. from a coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. That was always the example that I used. I always thought mm -hmm. that was ridiculous. Was, oh, I'm here to get coffee, but let me just get some brass knuckles real quick. Actually, I do have a question about the tabloid. Uh-huh. This is mostly for uh, my weasel The bosses. other people. Uh-huh. Indeed think about uh having the tabloids articles also sent around the stuff you're working on for the visual news Ooh, or at least yeah. having some stuff running in parallel that could be fun yeah, absolutely it might be yeah. a little hard as far as like timing on releasing it alongside the videos but that could be really cool. yeah i mean well, nothing with having companion pieces either is pretty... preamp uh... my release schedule is pretty consistent like usually... and i imagine writing for for tabloid stuff is going easier you just make up shit yeah. yeah 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 but that way weasel has something of a theme or true rather the uh video content point to the tabloid and the tabloid can point to the video content that way you get a wider audience for both sure cool i 
sorry, I'm just going to announce this idea so I don't forget it later. But if we do do a tabloid, maybe we could even, like, under the table sell, um, like, people can come to us and be like, I want you to write this shit about so-and-so or this and that. And oh, God. they can pay us a bunch of money. <laughs> like, if, if no, you want to... That's wanna... a great idea. If you want to <laughs> open, like, that fucking manhole you go nuts you have you no idea <laughs> how many Cerberus requests versus I got. cgi kind of like competition the hundreds of thousands of dollars you could get in that would no, just be just, incredible we we might also place a big you know oh, like the, these are not the requests you will get the requests you will get are like hey like i work you know i do dodo and sanitation for a living this random guy whom you've never heard about stole my car right a uh, like destroy them in the paper a smear piece and like yeah write a smear piece here's we'll charge like a, bunch of a garbage. lot of money so people well, have I mean, to be I, really I think, fucking rich to, to i do mean it. if it's a tabloid right there would be certain conditions by which you write Ooh, yeah. tabloid stuff right we don't do yeah. smear pieces we're not that kind mm -hmm. of like you can smear somebody on Twitter, uh, but yeah. but a tabloid thing is like this person's pregnant, and you can you know like <laughs> I heard that they're sleeping with this person. Like that's you know allegedly right. sources say. Anyway, well, sorry, I just had to get that idea out before I forgot it. Sources allege that CGI is pregnant with uh, Cerberus's baby. I have exactly. an idea exactly. as well. Yeah. More to love it that could Let's be down, that I have always really wanted to do okay and it, you know how the police have the MDW mm -hmm. well what yeah. if we had the weasel media data where we had dossiers that we could keep on people and we could function as like a really investigative outfit that way that would be so fun if we asked for our own version of the MDW that would be a big but ass. It would be the WMD. Yeah. Weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> oh, the weasel. No, the weasel news database. <laughs> oh, WND. -E got it. WMD. Oh, weasel media database. WMD. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. weasel media. Database. Weasel media database. Yes. Just and I think that casually. would resonate <laughs> if we just called it the WMD. Mm -hmm. But um. Oh, that, that's how we should call the news app if we get one. And if they ask us why we're asking for that, we'll be like, well, we can't have an email, so might as well fucking do this. Well, that, that's actually what that's actually yeah. what spawned the idea in the first place. Yeah. I don't know. I always thought that would be cool. We could have that would be own. hilarious. But, um, but that's not anything I expect. It's just a fun idea. But I yeah. would like to... Lofty goal. Uh, I would like to really focus on having 404 Media uh, be a thing that we yeah. have. Or that Drew has, because that will give me the freedom to mm -hmm. rebrand Weasel News to the fucking Cuban News Network for a couple of months. You know, yeah. and not have to worry about that stepping on your toes. And then, in terms of like media branding for you, Drew, you know, I would offer you marketing and you know images, and if you ever needed any video content or any you know stingers, just whatever you need, you know, for that kind of stuff. And in exchange, when we need writers to to write stuff like i've always wanted people to write script because that's what hangs me up yes the most is writing my scripts you're so good at it though it takes a week to, I feel to that. write a page <laughs> i feel that no As no I, i'll, I feel I'll that. do it in a, i can do it in two days but it's not I can good do it in 10 minutes they're not good though it's just like i feel like i'm just coming up with coherent sentences that that help kind of move yeah, the like story that, okay. along, but they're not interesting and they don't yeah, have any see, flavor. But yeah, like that, that that's how writing works. Like you basically just word vomit, like fill your page, I don't care how much it sucks, and then you rework it. It's easier to make something good out of something bad than to make something good out of nothing. Well, I think it's even beauty. better to hire somebody else to do it for me so that I can focus on, you know, yeah, that making, too. making my end of things like really good. Because it's a huge hangout. And I would, you know, I, again, if, if we got 404 media off the ground yeah. and we had a publication that we put forward, we could add that to the collective construction proposal and say, look, we're working on all this media and, uh, you know, we need an app. Give us the app. 
Give us a tab yeah. on the app. Something. And the tab on the app is huge because it's going to open the tab for everybody. It's gonna, I mean, it's going to open the app for everybody. Which if it could, works, I don't know. I smoke a lot of weed. could be good and bad. They not like that because that means that they'll have like a million more companies being like, I want well, that too. They just don't have to do it. Yeah, but there aren't a million other companies that have put out unique content the way that true. we have. Very true. You get rewarded for the things that you do, you know? When does that ever happen here? Uh, I think we're all sitting here because- I know, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> Took me a little longer. <laughs> I do appreciate the newspaper for what it's done for us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anybody, every time somebody talks shit about the newspaper, that's the first thing I think about. Like, oh yeah? Right. Wow. See you fucking next week. I mean, but like, like, that's actually a good point. Like, the fact that we all got, like, you know, good tickets from our means that someone sells the crap, you know? The people that matter appreciate it, and those are the people that I would like to market to. You know? Well, I'm liking, I'm as much of a pain as this kind of meeting is because it takes forever and we got to talk like different things. I kind of like where, where we're now I like it i like the ideas i kind of want to hear through more because i feel like um i've talked over you a bunch and i feel like i missed stuff if you wanted to say Maybe if i'm wrong people ari why was he interrupting people ari I'm gonna interrupt i mean your face. i'll interrupt you ari you always do in meetings like these i tend to my time absorbing information more than trying to speak sleuth gum out of my way mm-hmm my thought process now is one of, uh, that's a way to phrase this. Application, I think. It's going to depend on how we can apply these ideas to uh, the overall city experience. Mm -hmm. Can I make a suggestion? Go right ahead. Can we commit to together now once a week? Because I think we all have the ability to do that. Sure. Uh yeah, I like the idea. Definitely. Do you think Saturdays is a good day? Well, we'll coordinate it, but... Usually? Just to make sure that we're yeah, all on the same page and that we're Should all... Should be workable. Room. I mean... I mean, obviously, we'll find ourselves in the same room throughout the week, probably. Sure. But uh, just to have a meeting of executives. Sounds oh, okay. good to me. Is this our executives now? If it's agreeable to you guys. Works, works for, for me. me. Yeah. So, do we need to come up with new fancy titles? Yeah, we can work on that. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we, put, me and Ari and I will put something together and the next week we can go over. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what, that's our job this week. Perfect. We got homework. Yeah. And, and I really think that, <laughs> what are you writing there, Drew? <laughs> Consequence. New article. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I think that, um. My vote is that we work on 404 media or getting a, a tab on the app first. I would like to see a different company for the serious stuff only because it just really enables me to do the crazy stuff. And you but I want to get to the serious yeah. stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. And it, in, 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 in the public's defense, it is really confusing for Weasel to become an Adam from different angles. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I was thinking to... of splitting off to 404. Yeah. It's kind of the impetus. Mm -hmm. We could be companies. Like LSB and yeah. Weasel should have been, and then we'll crush them. Mm -hmm. And we'll have Dylan Dubs apologize on his knees and ask for a job. And then we'll say no, and we'll cut his head off, and we'll put it on a stake. I mean, and then we'll stick it in the ground. Out front of the news yeah. center. Okay. <laughs> As a warning to future well, you, you know that if Dylan's. we do get an app, like a bunch mm -hmm. of people from LSPN come over to get rid of Dylan? It's perfect. Oh, I don't cool. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I also. I, I do know. I do know. Trust me. No problems mm -hmm. with LSPN. He's been yeah. really cordial with them. Between yeah. the board of directors here, I'm sure you. I don't know if you've picked that up. We're everybody that for Weasel fucking hates LSPN, but we actually have a really good relationship with them. Mm-hmm. 
Well, everybody that see, worked for Weasel. Yeah, uh, see, I, pretty much it now. Yeah. <laughs> I have problems with certain individuals at LSBNs, and others right. are actually really, really good yeah. friends of mine. Exactly. Everybody has problems with somebody everywhere. Though, individuals, right? All right. yeah. But as an speaking entity, very generally, yeah, my, as two entities. my idea of our direction forward, Weasel works on the tabloid, and that's where most of its focus goes. Day-to-day -day news goes with uh, Kelsey working freelance with LSBN, and my primary focus is getting 404 the, uh, business proposal out and getting it to where we can start working from there. Okay. And I'll then we formalize the, the partnership and work proposal. forward from there. Also, I need you all to give us suggestions on what we would call the weasel tabloid. The confusion. <laughs> Just mull over that for a while. You don't have to have an idea right now. What's the plural of weasels? A confusion. A, oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah, right. Uh, a a, a group of weasel is called a confusion. Oh, well, that's perfect then. A confusion of weasels. I am the it one is who... so perfect. You, you know what? You're right. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. Hey! Thank me for being bored like one morning and looking it up on Wikipedia. A confusion. Come to a confusion of weasels. We put the duct tape. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? What are we doing? What's the game plan? What's I think the, I think that's doing? it. I think we have our, our marching orders. Um, <laughs> let's... <gasps> Let's figure out um, this week what we can do uh, if we need to do it via email. <laughs> we can. Uh, at least the title for the tabloid and sure. some ideas for how we would want to approach the tabloid. Um, mm. Obviously, Trav, go forth and video. Um, yes. I think, I think that's going to be our good keep that's going. That's going to be our moneymaker. That. Yeah, that's going to be the moneymaker in the short term. Mm -hmm. uh drew's got his thing that he's gonna or they've got their thing they're gonna be working on forgive me chelsea no problem. freelance uh i'm gonna work on m the proposal uh to get over to uh andy and each one of us has a job i think i love hey. it yeah and, yeah. and uh, feel free to reach out if you need help with a proposal or anything yeah can do and actually let me your... give you my number i don't think you have my yes, number please I'm gonna send you. So, um, Drew. There we go. How far? Yes, uh, thank you. Would you do? You, would you think your proposal is further further along to than the one that we had made for the library that could potentially be tweaked? Because maybe because it's it's similar, right? I mean, it's literary. Like, I think, think me think... trying to get my brain back around your format would take me longer than just finishing the one I've started. I don't want to <laughs> take that, sir. <laughs> I mean, no offense intended, we just think differently. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, that's fine. I just wondering if I should send that over to, um, to Mr. Kelly. So, but we know what's going on. We know what we're doing. Okay, next week we can meet here. Uh, do you think it would be weird if we tried to meet here? Uh, I mean, obviously we'll, you know, communicate with each other through the week, but like after Tsunami on Saturday, is that something that people could generate? Not every week, obviously, but generally. Uh, generally, yeah, it's doable. Yeah. Broadly speaking, yes. Same. Yeah, I think it should be good for me, too. Perfect. All right. All right. All right. And break. <laughs> Everybody, put your fingers. Oh, yeah. Put your fingers. Weasel news. We got to cut 6. our blood. 6.0. Oh, this is the one, baby. Put you. <laughs> Six... <laughs> that, nice. That, no, that, that needs to go on the tabloid. Weasel 6.0. It's the one. This, uh, we'll <laughs> get it one, right baby. this time. Stick oh, this time. This is the one Seriously, we we're not joking this time. <laughs> right. <laughs> awesome. Oh, my God. This is going to be fun. Okay. Great. I'm so excited. I, think work for I love you Drew. guys. Seriously, I, I, you know, I like to work on business proposals and paperwork and stuff occasionally too. If you ever need anything like to get this off the ground, like you know, feel free to ask. I'll reach out. And we, you've got assets now, this man. You got all of us. We just got to figure out how to pay him, and yeah. uh, and that's fine. We'll pay him in exposure. Perfect. That's right. I think that's my totally next what broadcast... he needs right now. <laughs> yeah, more more eyes on me is what I need. Right. <laughs> Guess who we just hired? Actually, the most hated man idea. in Los Santos. Well, you you're you're in good you're company. In, trust yeah, me. you're in good company. <laughs> I think that's very accurate for Weasel. What uh, twist and plot? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have um I have some work to do to get to We're this afternoon. Yeah. I'm gonna go buy a guitar from Mr. Hubcap Jones. Ooh, oh, what? Okay. That's exciting. <gasps> so exciting. Yes. 
I gotta go Actually, on sell the a laptop. Travis. Yes. Can you give me a logo? Uh, yeah. For for it's called what again? Four hundred four. Four hundred four media. media. Yeah. If you shoot, shoot me an email, okay? Can do. And just uh, kind of brain dump, you know, what you imagine. Not what you imagine it would look like, but in aesthetic. And if you send me some reference material, it'll make it a lot easier to come up sure with thing. something that's in your head. So whatever, I know you might not even have anything in your head, but just look around, find stuff you like, and then just send it to me, and I'll, I'll kind of whip something up from there. Do have a I rough learned idea that in recently. My head. That's what designers like the most is as much detail of the aesthetic as possible, makes it really easy for me to do my job. All right, I'll get that to you fairly shortly. That when I was doing stuff in the past. Yeah, not like yeah, you're the sure. expert. Do it the way you imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the worst, actually. I know. Well, I was thinking it was going to be more like this. I'd get that all the time, honestly. Yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, I think we're I think we're good. Yeah. Ready? Break. Awesome. Does everybody have uh, Does everybody have uh, Mr. Kelly's phone number? Uh, yeah, I maybe, believe I do. Maybe Actually, you... Sloan, can you just yes, text me your? Uh... Yeah, I think you have the last one, Charles. Yeah, plus, there's some uh, political shit. I might want to run by you. See what you think. Oh, also, there's a fully automatic machine gun in the st in the storage. Do not touch it. It's mine. It's a prop. It doesn't have any ammo. I would never. No comment. Probably don't want your fingerprints on it. <laughs> it told me it was no a prop, comment. and it doesn't shoot, so I'm assuming it's a prop. He said to the prop. FIB. Yeah, right. And a po off-duty police officer. Oh my god! <laughs> you fucks! Are you? you tattling on you yeah but you guys know like, i should uh, well I don't, i'm not i don't like I'm carry kidding. guns it's just a novelty it's actually the first one i've ever had so cool mm -hmm. sometimes i walk around in the office with it i'm like yeah didn't i overhear osvaldo saying you bought it with weasel money uh i made uh -oh. that video, so. <laughs> it's my money did oh. you was there an actual transaction that left the weasel account though it was cash okay. i took out eighteen thousand in cash could okay. be for anything i'll just say it was for drugs <laughs> That's you. way better. Uh, Legal drugs. Okay, it's just a prop gun. There's no ammo prop, for prop it. Drugs. Yeah. Prop drugs. Prop acquisition. He, he used uh, it to just buy a bunch was of painkillers for the us. Couch, everyone asks, it's actually believable that you'd mm. spend this much money to try to get, you know, that particular stain out? $18,000 a month. Request. Can we replace that couch? Please get a new Oh, couch. God. <laughs> Doesn't even have to look different. Just please get a new couch. Yeah, right. <laughs> Different identical couch. Exactly. Yeah. All right, I'm off. Okay. Same. Good. Off we go. Thanks. Since everybody. I'm driving, we're all off. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's right. right. I guess we we're, were all off. in the same car. Abdul's Make back sure. and has a new car. I think that that would be a great story for anyone, by the way. That's just sweetie pie. What would Abdul do? I volunteer. Someone else drives. I'll drive. I, mean, I can drive. I'm really good. I'll get in the trunk. I'm already here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm the newest. Yeah. I feel bad. Nah. We're all still We gotta greedy. treat Sloan properly as the newbie. Yeah, it's called the uh, hazing, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, we don't have any sort. Oh, we. Okay, so what about what about hiring though? We oh yeah, gonna... that's a good point. Are we going to start higher? Well, I guess we need the business license first. Yeah, huh? we need to get the business license yeah. and we need Ooh, to prove business. that, uh, you know, we can actually do shit. Like, I'm you gonna... know, like release a few video with this tissue. I'm going to rehire Hal at least because he can on a pilot and two uh, is a really good editor. Yeah. Certainly. Well, um, maybe he'll, he'll just do work for 404 Media. True. Uh, sure he'll he he'll basically pilot. just do anything. Like, it, thanks to him that we got an. Um, uh, parachutes the other day because technically he wasn't supposed to do that so uh, he'll mine. do whatever for us oh my god <laughs> don't tell anybody because you'll get him in trouble I, I don't even remember where it came from hopefully, hopefully it doesn't like fall apart though I don't really know oh shit you might look at it and see uh, if it looks like it's wearing down oh, oh good ooh my GoPixel camera though that's wearing down I gotta put that somewhere I, I don't Didn't know if it, one of those. I don't know if it lasts through a tsunami or not. 
once you put it up, I think it just lasts for the rest of the season. Oh, for us. Oh, okay. But it's all, so I bought it yesterday, it and time. I only have yeah, I only have like today and tomorrow to use it. So. Oh, that sucks. I gotta figure out where to put it. I thought you said you were gonna do the fun house, but that wouldn't be good because uh, it's probably gonna be pretty empty the next day or so. Well, we could find out. You know. That's true. We could monitor. I would have put that, it in. Oh the my god, that's department. actually really good time to use it now because now the clowns hate you and want to kill you. What if we sneak into LSBN and put it in there? <laughs> we can't. Remember, they put a lock on the door now. I can still get in. I mean, that just makes it a different kind of sneak in. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we think, Drew. They leave that door unlocked all the time. That's cool, yeah. Also, Where you know, I might shop there. I'm a little bit down bad right now. Oh, that's another thing. We need to make sure Kelsey understands. She's more than welcome to work at LSBN, but if you do anything from here to there, your ass is fired. Well, yeah, yeah, obviously. And I understand the same thought process of we don't expect you to bring us shit from LSBN. Yeah, no, that's perfectly whoa, 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 understandable. Whoa, 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 we didn't put that to a vote, Ari. Okay, I, well, let's I talk about it. With I Ari on this one. To, I vote to farm vote. information from LSBN, as a matter <laughs> no, of fact. No. Okay, I've, <laughs> no. I vote with Ari. Gonna... We have a majority. Yeah. <laughs> there I you also go. Vote with Ari. <laughs> Sorry, Travis. See? I mean, I'm more than happy to do that. It was my idea. That, but... Okay, you know what? You can thing. outvote me if you want. Here's the thing. If you if you have her do that, she's gonna 100% do the same for them. Fine with me. <laughs> I have no problem with that. They do. I have a problem with it. I don't want them to know all the stuff we're doing. I, I want them to know how I, I have a question, Mr. Kavimo. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. How would you feel about doing some business management for 404 as well? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Whatever you need. All right, it's going to be a lot of uh, moving parts while we're trying to figure things out. So <laughs> having someone who knows their way around and knows the people to talk to would be uh, quite a boon. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. Whatever you need, I'm I'm here as a resource. <laughs> I appreciate that. Certainly. Yeah, I'm happy to help in whatever way I can. We love oh, yeah. Travis. <laughs> I got a oh, he's, he's up there. Okay. Yeah, ha so happy to help, Drew. And yeah. yes, Chelsea, go Appreciate ahead. that. Yeah, uh, so I have a friend of mine who's uh, looking to run for office. Oh, okay. Yeah, offered me to be him. All right. Figured, you know, you have political experience. You started the uh, consultation. Well, I did. Basically, yeah. based on that. Uh, figure if you have a few minutes, I'd uh, see if I can get your ideas on it. Sure, absolutely. Take Travis to auto so he can get his car, one of his cars. All right. Sounds good. No problem. Love you guys. Bye. Have a good one. See you soon. So, are you familiar with attendant? I am. Well, uh, in name and by proxy through Mr. Arrowhead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he wants to run for mayor. I heard that actually. I think he'd be a, a great uh, office uh, person for the office. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He offered me to be part of his campaign, and should he win, I'd be deputy mayor. Fantastic. I think he was talking to my friend Izzy as well about it. Apologies, don't mean to interrupt, uh, but I was about to go grab okay. food. Would either of you no, like anything? Uh, I'm okay at the moment. Uh, could use, uh, could use a snack, could use something. Of course. Thanks, Drew. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, um, yeah, I think he'd be good. I, I know of two other candidates running so far. Damien and Osvaldo. Um, uh, I heard that Osvaldo uh, might have a rough time because of his criminal record. Yeah, uh, obviously that has to be expunged uh, before he can officially run. Um, but Damien, at least you're talking Damien interested. Tinkerman? Or? Mm -hmm. Yep, Damien Tinkerman, uh, who also has a record but should be expunged. I think he said Monday is his final day. But yeah, um, it's going to be an interesting race this time. I think there's a lot of interested parties yeah. who I think would be very good. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of thinking of doing it just for the experience. Because like, let's be real, unless you're crazy popular to begin with and you have a golden ticket, you don't stand a chance. True. Yeah, it's uh, that's it's honestly one of those areas that, that kind of unfortunately is a bit of a popularity contest but it needs more attention 
than it has gotten um, while Mickey's been in office. <laughs> uh, I think Mickey is a really great charismatic person, but a lot of the work that needed to get done while he has been in office, he has left to the deputies. And that's part of the reason why I was here in the first place was yes. um, to support what they wanted a to do. A lot of the criticism I've heard of Mickey's tenure, let's just say it wasn't as polite. <laughs> okay, what did you hear? Uh, that he, like, things don't get done, that he says yes to everyone without uh, thinking all these decisions will affect the rest of the city. That too. Mostly these two things. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I came in, right, was uh, while he said yes to everything, when it actually came time to do the work, I would go and have discussions with the people it was supposed to affect and ask about how it would affect them. Um, so, like, things that were going to be legislated or programs that were going to affect different people um, basically would try and figure out, and this is this is how I know as much as I do about, like, restaurants and the storefronts and and all of the things that were happening with that. Um, the economy shift that happened with storefronts in general, and especially the restaurant side of things, um, there was a lot of work that needed to be done behind the scenes that kind of got neglected in the time period that Bunny left office and he moved into office. Uh, and his goal was just to kind of leave it with the city planners, and it really probably should have had more attention um, from people who were you know, like the deputies being able to have the discussions. Um, so I ended up having a lot of those conversations. They were oh, interesting chats. Interesting. Yeah. Some good chats, but they were also um, challenging conversations uh, that resulted in, um, we'll say, uh, a major disagreement between he and I when it came time to actually discuss with the Senate. Um, namely, Mickey tends to side with his friends rather than those who are, uh, economically going to be affected. Um, and that's where he and I had a major disagreement is I don't think it's necessarily fair, uh, for those in the city who have put in time and effort and work, um, just to have things like their business license revoked. So, uh, um, I agree. Yeah. Uh, that's why yeah, I think somebody was... like attendant would be a great um, fit, right? You guys need to see something. Oh, okay. okay. Hang on. We need, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Continue. We need Drew and Ari here for this. Okay. This is huge. Maybe. Yeah. I, but I, I think honestly, having somebody who has been in, in a more local business kind of space would be a huge asset. Some, you know, Bunny did a great job. I, I think Bunny got crapped on a lot because the economy shifted in the time she was in office. Uh, and people expected a lot of things and she didn't actually have the control, uh, that they thought she did. Um, and that was just well, unfortunate. Like, 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 let's be real. The mayor office in this state doesn't have a lot of control over True. anything. Exactly. It's a very symbolic position. Exactly. Uh, the, like, there, you know, there are no legislative sessions. Uh, there's no, like, there's some control over the budget and which, like, really that's all you can do is you want to get something done right. you can kind of like hold part of the budget hostage which is a dangerous thing well yeah because... i mean that's that's what mickey's doing right now is he owes me almost a million dollars uh for things like programs that i had run on his behalf uh and he's holding it hostage um but yes uh, th i think that's that tends to be the the biggest component or basically and i think bunny's administration defunded the police and Mickey's administration go. has well, done the opposite where he's overfunded the police oh, damn yeah see my goal for the police hey guys to show yeah. us something okay come here come here come in see my vision for the police is that the city desperate Need a civilian oversight or functional IA. Well, that oh. that actually is something that the Senate needs to provide some clarity on. They need to support Chad Gable or install someone else over the head of IA. And I think uh, Gable has been waiting for a while. Some conversation I've had door. with him about a month ago. 
Which door? Look at the elevator door. Well, that's interesting. Peek at it. Start what your the own room? Fuck? I'm doing it right now. That's not an insignificant amount of money. Wonder who it's funding. It's a, it's ten thousand. Probably LSBN. It? Yeah, ten thousand. I'll fucking start my own room. They Hang still on. have their own stuff here as well, but interesting. And there's a go to the cinema. I wonder if that's theirs or if that's something totally different. That's new. That wasn't there like a couple of days ago. This is as public every queue or private only creator can queue. Huh. Oh, I think it's cinema. That means cue videos. Okay, only the creator. Oh, that would make other sense. people maybe actually put videos up now in the cinema? Uh, okay, cinema setup. Ooh, it says that's what I'm guessing. Create <gasps> new room setup or skip setup creation. You just have to pay ten thousand. I wonder where the money goes. We need to ask the the city where this I'm ten thousand right dollars is going. Probably just funneling Don't right into SBN's pockets. Who has ten thousand in cash right now? Not in cash. I got it in the bank. Perfect. You have to have cash. Don't even have that much. Uh, what did oh, you say, Drew? I'm, I'm sorry. Don't suppose you happen to know anything about this. Uh, no, I don't. But that's cool. I just wonder if it's getting dumped into hands pockets or if it's the city. Uh, I would, if I had to wager a guess, I would say the city. But uh, I'd so. like to know for sure. Uh, I'm going to try this. Going to the cinema and see what happens. No active rooms. Uh, okay, yeah, so you can start your own cinema room up. Oh, I gotcha. Interesting. Oh, you just have cool. to pay $10,000 for it, which is a I'm little wondering pricey. if that a day rate? Is that a storm rate? Is that a week Probably rate? Just month a rate? Storm. But that, that changes the scope of how the cinema works now, right? Mm -hmm. That means yeah. anyone Big, has access to uh, yeah. it. It's no longer an LSBN owned. Well, cool. LSBN actually still has their own. If you look through your options, you can go to the elevator selection oh, okay. and they still have... No, they don't. They only have main floor LSBN in the roof. So yeah, they took away their exclusive rights Got to... Good! Oh, so do... I wonder if they still have to fork over 10K now or if they just get it for free. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, interesting. I can hear I the dubs that exist it. in my brain screaming furiously right now. I wonder why. Wait, what? <laughs> Pardon me. So, Travis, we discovered that um, LSBN does not have their option anymore for their own exclusive theater. So they have to go through this as well, I think. I just don't know if they also have to pay ten thousand dollars or if they get. Oh my it for god! Free if they don't what? know, the first thing they're going to see is Weasel Cinemas. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> This is gonna be great. The hey, we should is debut be Weasel your... D with a capital D. Okay. Weasel okay. D with a capital D. I'm gonna create a new room setup. I don't know. This might take. Okay. A second. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. You can now. We can debut long, your, your news report today. Okay. We're the Wouldn't only like one on the thing. We're the only one on the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's I'm like okay, per Peter. storm thing, which kind of sucks. That's ten thousand no dollars. All right. Here we. Yo, 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 what's up? What's the password? Weasel D with a capital D. Hmm. Now there are the permutations that made sense to me. Whoa. Where's the actual door? It's this one, right? Hmm. You probably need to click the plus sign. And maybe that's where you no, add the video? this is for the setup of the room. Oh, what? The setup of the room? Like we could decorate the room? I don't think so. He's stupid.
You guys see the video there? I do, yeah. I, I don't. Have to launch it from the. Uh, there. Uh, you're right. Maybe so. I don't know how this works. Nikki. Uh, it could be that um, there's maybe a new... this is still being worked on. Like maybe it's not working the, properly. Yeah, I'm not gonna fully leave accessible. and come back and see if that helps. Uh, so the LSBN studio or the whatever. Also, I don't remember the permission Travis thing was talking is. about, but could be that he has to start it. Oh, that would make sense. Uh, is no longer LSBN only. You can pay ten grand to like set up your own viewing room basically so like multiple movies could be going on at the same time and it's not just lsbn anymore so like weasel could actually do their own thing and oh by the way uh sloan got hired on to weasel as an executive to help run the operations so that's why i'm hanging out with the crew he's got it up there is it playing oh, well? nah i don't see anything do Oh, I had to leave and come back, and now I see something up there. Did you go, like, outside the door or, like, <gasps> It back worked! Up there? Yeah, I can see it now, and I can hit play, and it's playing. I'm not sure who that is. Is down. Please. Okay. Just what are you trying to do? To I'm trying to just figure all this stuff out, but I don't. I just I can't do it with like other people. Like well, one thing I've discovered: I left and I came back, and I could see the video, and I can actually hit play and see it playing and everything. But nobody else can see it playing. When I left and came back, I can I can see it up now. Oh. Yeah, when I first came in, I couldn't see the screen properly, so had to. Yeah, it's paused for me now. But I see, I see it up there. What do you see on the screen right now? What is it? Uh, it's... There's someone doing CPR over a down fella. And another Perfect. fella leaning over there. Oh, I don't okay, see so that. Okay, so you see... Oh, okay. So Drew sees the same thing I see. No, I see like a... Like a kind of... It looks like smoke on a screen. Okay, yeah. You see the beginning of it. Okay. I see a black screen. 
So I think it's all a matter of like when people come yeah, it's, in it's and just out. A, yeah. a, like if you um, go to load the link, so it's a YouTube link. I'm almost wondering like, so he set up the, the room to like be private. Um, but I think everybody that comes in with a password has the ability to mess with stuff. So I think it would have to be set up as public and he would be the only one able to really mess with any of the settings. Interesting. I think right. that's how it's supposed to be. But set I remember up. Uh, folks at LSBN for the various screenings were very important <laughs> about do not exit before the film. The yes. only so worthwhile I think DMCA is getting, getting rickrolled. Mm -hmm. Make sure. Oh, no, we're one minute! No! Travis, record! Oh, yeah, oh, oh, someone record! Oh, 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 no, 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 so here's something interesting, Travis, is because it's private, because the room is set up as private, all of us can edit this and, and play with it and screw with the settings and stuff. Okay. Um, so if we were to do something like this and, and play it for people, we'd have to set it as public and you'd have to be the only person that has the ability to shoot, hit play and pause and everything. And it's that Ooh. whole same situation that LSBN had where when people come down here, they can't leave and come back while the video is playing because it they'll be at a different part of the movie versus everybody else. Okay. So that's just some things to keep in mind. But this is cool. Is there any way that we can change that now or is it too late? I don't know. I think you'd have to go back up the elevator and play with the control and see if you can change it to public. Let's all leave maybe and see. Yeah, could be. I got excited. This is so cool. I wonder if I'm really very interesting. Complained about it, and they finally changed it for them. Oh yeah, you can manage creative room, so maybe you can fix it. That that. Hmm. No, it just gives you the option to oh. delete it. I'll Aww. spend another 10k on it, though. I don't really care. That's so cool. <laughs> They're yeah, going to come back and see that Weasel one? has Weasel two problems. theaters. Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll delete one of them. Or maybe <laughs> Suddenly, know, they're super maybe pissed off. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean they have a private theater? They got rid of ours and gave them two. <laughs> what the hell? Manage created rooms. Weasel cinemas. All I can do I is could ask a judge. Whoops. I just accidentally deleted it. I thought there would Grayson. be a pop-up. Oh, he's on the phone. Dang it. Why? Does he know? No, but he's a judge. Maybe he can find something out. Who knows? It didn't delete it. I'll give him a minute to uh, before I try to call him. No creative <laughs> rooms. Go to see him. I still have the option to a go. A Screen through, Actors though. Guild. Weird. Yeah. Also, uh, let me see. Oh, it probably gets deleted on the next tsunami or something. Well, I'm not um, sure because I had like a bunch of options to just place furniture around. Yeah, yeah, that's that. the way it was set up. Hmm. Yeah, I really need to get a house again. I miss furnishing. I wonder if um, these theaters still have the same problem of um, being in Little Soul and people having headaches because of all the chaos of outside. Or if going through the elevator makes it a little, you know, chaotic. Uh, I'm guessing the elevator probably helps. I hope so. Because that was another complaint. Um, that someone else had because they wanted to do like the big um, music uh, festival, but music awards. Um, they were going to try to do it at a totally different theater because they didn't want it to be in Little Soul because of the headaches and stuff. Which apparently pissed Dylan off. <laughs>
dude. This is kind of exciting. All right, I'm uh, going to run to another meeting, but if okay. you guys need anything, you know how to find me. Okay, sounds good. We're going to keep playing with this. I think Travis is getting more money out to set up a new one. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so, all right. Yeah, fun this stuff. actually is good for us because that gives us the ability to really get our video content out there for now, yeah. too. Yeah. It'll, it it'll be... Uh... Yeah, we'll see if people complain enough and take it away, but <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah, well, that also solves the problem of having to request something new, you know? Yeah, yeah, true. All right, well, I'm glad we discovered it today. This going to be on our today. proposal, but now it's fixed. Yeah. <laughs> now we just need roof access. Oh, yes. Yeah, 100%. Cool. All right. All well, right. thank you again, Sloan. Absolutely. We appreciate you for everything. Holler at me if you need anything at all. Yeah, we will do. Uh, Chelsea, okay. you want to continue our conversation before I run to my, my next one? Uh, yeah, well, I think we covered most of it. Okay. Unless there were other uh, no, uh, I mean, pearls if... of wisdom you wanted to uh, say, uh, shoot my way. Uh, not necessarily. Um, basically just general gist is I think he'd, he'd be great for it. Um, and then the biggest challenge, obviously, again, being, um, this city has a very low attention span. So being able to like get people's attention and say the things that will draw folks in, uh, to, to like really be important to them is going to be like the biggest struggle. Um, yeah, especially holy. if you go up against someone like Rami, you know, who, yeah, two times ago. That's the thing. Right now, uh, he's like you know he started campaigning, like you know talking to mm -hmm. like various gangs, various businesses, trying to secure votes. Perfect. But right now, there's not a lot of competition. Right. Uh, and let's just say again, like let's imagine that oh, like election is due to start, and bam, like Rami decides to run, and yeah. like all of that is gone. Yeah. Um. I think Bunny and I are going to try and hold a, like, I don't know, if maybe class or whatever we want to call it, uh, like a learn about the mayor's office kind of um, series, or, or maybe it'll just be like a one day kind of town hall sort of thing, but yeah, it, uh, just for people who are interested in learning specifically uh, about Andy the position. and Denzel used to run that, but mm -hmm. they charge, I can't even remember how much to participate, and they like a lot of people feel like their terms are over yeah they should be out of that office and like like people shouldn't have to go through them if they want to become mayors in the future yeah an opinion that i do personally share yeah i, I think that this is less more about like like a gatekeeping thing more like a hey if you want to learn about what it's like to be mayor you can feel free to come and learn. Yeah. Um, so that's that's something that she and I are going to try and do. And again, obviously, I've never been the mayor. I've only worked for a mayor. So I can kind of talk about what my experience was like. Uh, she'll talk about what her experience was like from being the mayor and kind of what the expectations are, what's realistic, what's unrealistic. Um, so as yeah. we get closer, we'll start kind of talking about that a little bit more detail. You'll start seeing things on Twitter. Uh, keep me in the loop and be interested. Yeah. I'll probably write something about it. Okay. And Perfect. I'd like to attend myself. Yeah, absolutely. It could be in my long-term plans. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Honestly, sure. I kind of feel the best thing for me would just be like one term as deputy mayor. Yeah. You know, like get the experience. Get, yeah. Get the experience, get the contacts like really really get my name out there as mm -hmm. far as people who don't really read the news sure and uh then because like really one term as the mayor is all you need to get all the contacts you need in this right yeah it, it doesn't take a whole lot i mean honestly if you just hung around town hall for a couple of weeks you'll you'd probably yeah, take most of it that's that's what i ended up doing uh just mostly 
getting to know folks. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely keep you posted if there's anything uh, otherwise that you need from me. You know how to find me. You got my contact. Yeah, yeah for sure. I'll probably ring you up uh, okay. like uh, at some point, like see what's going on with that. Sure. Try to get a piece around it. But again, okay. I'm not going to schedule an interview until you have something concrete. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Uh, talk to you soon. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you. Yeah, have a good one, Sloan. You too. Bye. Back to Uwu. Sorry, I was reading my uh, Discord. Oh, we be vibing. I'm here for this. We're vibing in here. We're vibing. Hello. Hi. Uh, can I have three more filling combos? I killed the uh, vibes. Nice. nice, fine. All right. Uh, your charge for three filling combos is on the tablet. If you can swing. Absolutely. Alright, there you go. Your three feeling combos is on the train. Perfect, thank you so much. No problem. You have a good one? Why is my car impounded? How's it going? Is the baby sleeping or something? No, no, no. Um, me and Nancy are infiltrating um, some uh, place. Oh, that's creepy. Yes. Yes, it is. It's very creepy. Neat. Thank you. Yes. We're being re we're news reporters, and that's factual. <laughs> You're news reporters, and that's factual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're news reporters, and that's true. But we're infiltrating... Who are you news reporters for? Um, wait, who are we news reporters for? Yes. Well, technically, we're independent, um, but we are reporting on behalf of people, I think, as all reporters do. Right? Isn't that right? Is it Miss or Mrs.? Are you married? Okay, Mrs. Weston. What? Uh, we're, we're undercover. I don't know how to, I don't, I feel like I said that already, didn't I? I said we were infiltrating. You said place. infiltrating, but you didn't yeah, say that you undercover. were undercover. Okay. We're undercover as, um, reporters, but we are reporters, but we're undercover. Oh, okay. I, I get it. Uh, yes. Do you, you understand now? Do you need like semi authority on behalf of Weasel News as I am do now the executive of Weasel News? That's great. I don't know if you want to do that for us, but if you want to, then I won't say no. Okay. Well, I, I wouldn't do it. Then I'm not doing it. Okay, great. That's why we're independent. Okay. Well. Oh my. Oh my god. My car oh my got god. impounded, and I'm not sure why. 
Oh, I'm sorry. How did you meeting? Uh, it's it Sloan Kelly, by the way. Um, Mrs. Wesson. Who who never called me back. Um, uh, she said that you're so handsome. Weird. I thought it was really nice. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Weston. He said, thank you. She's a married woman. That's very strange. But no, okay. no, no. She's divorced. She oh, the name she? and the title. Yeah. She just kept it in the title. Got it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Well, um, then I am, I am yes. flattered. As you should be. Um, yeah, but we're going to get radios and then we're going back to a place that we're infiltrating and that I can't not, I can't disclose that information. It's top secret. And then okay. um, we, then what? Then we're doing that. I guess that's what we're doing. All right. Well, <laughs> how was the meeting? It was good. I got uh, brought on as the executive for Weasel News. Oh, so that's what happened that's, in the meeting. Great. That's what happened in the meeting. And Very I recent. Them, helped them. Well, I mean, I got hired yesterday. I got brought on as a, as an executive today. Uh, yeah, it, it turns out a lot of people really like the idea of getting a lot of executive level help to like actually structure businesses appropriate in the city. Uh, uh -huh. And as it turns out, there's not a lot of people who can do that. But apparently I have a reputation of being able to do that. So yes, you do. That. Great. I love that. That's amazing. I also love that. They need help. They, they need, help. need help. So I am now a senior executive. That's awesome. I love that. I also love that. Yeah. Anyway, um, I need to talk to you about some other stuff. How long are you going to be around slash how long is this going to take? Because I wasn't supposed um, to come in today. I'll be I'll be around um, all day today and tomorrow. Um, and then, I mean, if we, I, I don't know how long this is going to take, really. It's hard to say how long infiltration and a sub subsequent interview will take. Um, uh, maybe an hour or two at the most. But if you're around tomorrow, then we can just say we're going to meet at this time and I can make anything work during like early, late, whatever. Yeah. Tomorrow, I definitely have a couple things out of the city in the morning. Okay. Okay. Uh, but morning for you is usually afternoon for me. That's true. That's true. That's true. At least in our brains. Uh, the other option is I could just dip out of the city for a little bit and then come back in later. Okay. Well, how about I'll email you when we finish up this stuff. Okay. And, um, I've, today's like, today ended up being weirdly busy for me. I don't know why, but, um, Cause you're I will, I'm so popular. Um, but I will, I will get up email and worst case scenario i can just be around i'll be around all day tomorrow so like literally anytime tomorrow all day all day all day okay cool well, i'm okay. gonna figure out why my car got impounded and then smart. uh smart smart super smart uh is that something they usually will tell you here at the impound lot why i got impounded yeah or do i have to like i call don't i don't know somebody no You'll need to call somebody to get it unimpounded, but yeah. All right. Well, that's great. Okay. Well, okay. okay. Best of luck. I'm going to call Nancy to bug okay. her. Her name is yes. Mrs. Weston. Yes, that's right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. I almost typed in Weston. Hello. Well, Mrs. Weston, I am so flattered. Oh, thank you. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> You're so handsome. You sound like such a handsome young man. <laughs> are, are you are you role playing as like a much older woman? I don't know, because I look the same and I have like I'm hot and I have like really nice blonde hair with like a pink streak. But that voice is the only one that I can do is, is like an like an older woman from like the northeast. Yeah, I don't really get it, but here we are. <laughs> Why did you break character all of a sudden? Is it because I started talking normally? Yeah. Oh, okay. How you and you doing? clearly know it's me, so I'm yeah. not trying to like. Well, I mean, I, if you're yeah. around other people, you should. Oh no, I'm just character. with. Okay. I'm with Sadie Brochure. <laughs> Sadie Brochure. That's her name. Well, that's that's realistic. Yeah, 
What's... We're driving a rented car. We look amazing. Where are you? You should see us. Uh, I'm outside the impound lot because my car got impounded for no reason at Uwu, unless it got stolen oh. and I wasn't aware of it. Oh, I can unimpound it for you if you want. Oh, that would be dope. Yeah, we're on our way. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Good to know Nancy and I are still friends. Which voice, Nikki? Which one's the ASMR voice? Foghorn, leghorn voice. Get your cop. Wow. Hello, young man. Yep. You should see Bunny. Just wow. Oh, my God. Is that your voice? I'm I'm Mrs. Weston's assistant. Say chose Ellen that. I don't know why sure. she became my assistant. And camera girl. What's your state ID, Islam? Three eight five zero five. Your car got impounded. Five hundred and seventy-five dollars. Why did it get impounded? Parking violation. A parking violation. Interesting, it was parked in a spot. But okay. You both look, look so beautiful. Wait, why am I paying for this? What the fuck? Oh, I don't know. I just paid it. Yeah, I know. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, you cars outside. Nancy's voice is better. Better what? Better than yours. But what? What do you mean? But yours sounds like you, just in a different way. Well, does, I want a different way. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Weston. Oh, you're welcome. It's we're full service here at Weston's Impound Emporium. What is what is your first name? Or is just you don't have a first name in this arc? Christy, it's Christy. Christy Weston. Christy Weston. It's uh, Christine for long, Christy for short. Christine for long. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, this is fantastic undercover work you're doing. Those. What are those? Those what? dark buttons. My shoes? Yeah, are they docks? Are they Doc Martens? Are they docks? They're Cole Hans. Tell me about your shoes, sir. Uh, Who's, who are you wearing? Again, Cole Han. Uh huh. Got them at Kohl's. Got them at Kohl's. Yeah, right. They were, they were on sale. Now, how much were they discounted by? Uh, eighteen percent. That's quite an arbitrary number. Is it? Is it arbitrary? It kind of seems like 18 it was. Eighteen like... is kind of weird. Usually, it's twenty, twenty-five, fifty, thirty, even. Uh, Never eighteen. Well, I don't know what to tell you. It was eighteen percent. 
Was there an in-store scratch-off promotion? Were they on BOGO? Uh, no, it was it was a mail-in coupon. A coupon. A, cu- a coupon with a hard U sound. Coupon. I love a good coupon. Yeah. Coupon. I'm an extreme couponer. Is that right? Yeah. You, I have a like, stockpile. At, at, you do you like go to grocery stores and, and coupon? I do coupon. You sit at, a, at like a like a dining room table. I have binders full of coupons. Binders. I binders, yeah. I got binders, women, and binders full of coupons. Hmm. I cut them out. I put them in my binder. I I organize them by expiry. I also organize them by aisle. By aisle. Like, in the store, so oh, I okay. plan out my trips to the store to coupon. That way, you can be the most efficient. Usually by the end of my trip, owing me money. Oh, how does that work? Yep. America, it's mail and rebates. Some are two for two, some are one for two. Freedom saves. Yep, that's right. Sometimes I use my card and if I get my points card back and then I can use my coupon and it stacks and then some stores will double it. So you literally get paid to shop. How does like gas factor in? Oh, gas is not included. I you drive a Tesla. Points. You, you drive a Tesla. Gas. You have made enough money from couponing to drive a Tesla. Yes. Wow. This is a lucrative yes. business. Yet I'm a news reporter. And you're a news reporter. How do you have time to both report the news and coupon? So much Adderall. Adderall? Lots of Adderall. Do you have a prescription? Oh, of course. Who's from your Dr. PCP? Tobias. Dr. Tobias. Is his first mm-hmm. name or last name? Yep. Yes. His name is Dr. Tobias. First name and last name. Toby Tobias Tobias, Tobias Tobias is his name. To- Mr. Toby Tobias. Yep. To- Mr. To- yep. Mr. Dr. Toby Tobias. That's right. World renowned for Adderall prescriptions. Yes. Very prescribed with the very Adderall. Very prescribed with the very Adderall. Yes, sir. What's happening over here now? Uh, what are you doing? No, I'm getting in. It's the filming position. So I stabilize. Doesn't look super stable. Very stable. I think we're just gonna have to trust you. Ma'am, how are your ankles so strong? I, um, I use resistance bands. Oh, resistance bands. Right. You put put one end around one ankle, and then I put the Uh. other one around the other, and I do this exact exercise. You just stand? The exercise is standing? That's right. Or with a, um, a weighted, like, medicine ball. Medicine ball. Now, what kind of medicine is in that ball? Is it Adderall? Is it Adderall? Do you Mr. Doctor Dr. Toby, Toby Tobias. Toby Tobias. It's a compacted, compressed Adderall. Yes, it's very. Oh healthy. wow! If you broke it open, it'd be like a snowball of Adderall. But I don't do that because I need it for it's, my weights. It's an Adderall. An Adderball. Damn. Brandon. Yeah, about TM. Patent, patent, pending, patent, patent pending. pending. Naturally. Did oh, you guys own a tow truck by chance? Maybe. Can I borrow it? Sure. Really? Yeah. Where is it? Uh, it's, well, it's right here. I just need to spell it and move it. But we're okay. interviewing him about his terrible shoes. Okay. I'll have you know, these are very fine shoes. I park here, am I gonna get towed again? Probably.
Don't worry, I'm fine. Yeah, it looks like she's got this. Yeah, that, that this. truck is Ooh. about to break the fuck down. It's been on a red engine light for about six months. Wow. Maybe she'll repair yeah. it. She said she was going to. Colin will be so sad. Uh... That thing whips, but I said I would never get it repaired, so that's no, whatever. Sucker. Sure. You'll never get it repaired. Somebody else will. A stranger wraps on her head. Bandages. I definitely parked my I, car in a spot that is absolutely going to get it towed. I got to be in my head a second. I guess I should bring it back in here, huh? Yes, I would say so. Okay, BRB. At her balls. My car's still running? It sure is. I could have sworn I turned it off. This is not very good. you doing there just dancing it's all the hips it's what you do for the for the perfect shot shoulders stable hips wild <laughs> you couldn't even get through that statement Shak oh. <laughs> you say shakira yeah. these hips don't even lie these hips why? Oh, I'm really getting close to this pole. <laughs> oh, wow. You sure were close to that pole. Not until you stopped, though. out here I couldn't imagine what that footage looks like right now it's actually really solid you would never know you would never know what my hips my hips are doing you'd never know <laughs> who's gonna know and who's gonna know who's gonna know I am slightly moving so slowly. What's weird is not from my perspective. But watch if I stop. Oh God. Yeah. You just kind of like move forward eight feet. Oh my god. Wow. This is very impressive. I do anything for the shot. Even limbo. I can tell. It's backbreaking work, honestly. That's uh Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel good. I'm still in it. <laughs> you feel feel loose now, bunny? I'm hitting the gritty sorry, like Goku this... on Fortnite for Ukraine. For sure. This for sure. sure. I don't know what that meant. Which part? Any of it? Sloan, can you call Brian Knight? Uh, and get and... an interview? For us, for us. Okay, no. All right. 
Oh, all right. Just say like, hey, I'm working with a um, local news crew. Independent reporters. Independent reporters. And they need an interview with the current chief of police. Uh, well, I was just telling Bunny, I actually am now an executive with Weasel News, if you want me to call from my oh executive my position. Yes, please do. Okay. Uh, I think I'm in there as their, like, HR manager until we get official new titles, but still, like, legitimately Perfect. a title. And then, yeah, I, can do I don't have his phone number. Do you have, shot. I actually do have number? his phone number. Oh my god, perfect call. Beautiful yeah. shot of that man by our rental car, Mrs. Weston. What's going on, news? Oh, hello. Reporting. How are you doing today? Reporting oh, doing well. We're reporting good, the good. news. We've heard it's a lot of stuff the about the, the police recently, oh, you, what... and we're very interested to hear what's going on. Hello, Sheriff Brett. Hey, what's the blowjob? Uh, hey, how you doing? Pretty good, a how are you? Job. Do you I'm have any sure words really to say about what's happening within our local police departments? Sure. Okay, uh, so well, I'm part of the PBSO. Home. This is uh, Sheriff Fred. I'm his captain, oh, and uh, everything's Camera. going according to plan. Everything's oh, going yes. according to plan. Okay, okay. Hello, everything's going out according what a to plan. Job was. Uh, what? No. Can you tell us more about blowjobs, officers? I am not. Well, is I don't that what really you guys know. want to know about, or do you want to know yeah. about police work? I mean, uh, we can tell you I about. I thought yes. it was part of police work. It actually is. Okay. Uh, um, I've actually fellatioed uh, many men uh, into, uh, until completion. To completion. Uh, naked to yesterday? completion. No, I was naked because I was in the shower. Um, please let me finish. Uh, you see, um, I'll give you a little rundown. So uh, a lot of my experience comes from undercover operations that so begun good. when I was a part of the prostitution sting task force in uh, OKC the prostitution capital of the world. A lot of people think it's Las Vegas. It's actually not. It's Oklahoma City. That's fascinating. I had, I had no, no idea. Prostitutes and Maldinis yep. dancing on the tables yesterday. Prostitutes so, uh, and Maldinis, all right. Maldinis? Yeah, there were prostitutes Hey, I had a guy Maldinis. arrested. Here, hey, here's a scoop for you. A guy arrested the other day, works at Maldinis and Burger Shot, said he hasn't showered in 40 years. For That's disgusting. Well, 40 years now that's a that's a story write that one yeah. down sadie write that down now how There's do you feel report. about the the current state of the police departments oh, uh well pbso is great it's a great department to uh work in um you know high command we're very supportive uh we have a uh cadet right here who has seen american beauty and uh does understand a lot of my uh pop culture references from it's just surprising since I grew up without a TV and everything, so there really isn't uh, much uh, excuse to not I, understand I his references and pop culture oh, references you. and stuff. That's fascinating. Yeah, it really thank is. You. Captain Wrangler is very fascinating. Thank you. You know, he could go from traffic stop into raids. It's fantastic. Oh, that's what we're doing right now. We're raiding. All these guns were raiding a person because uh, they ran a red light last night. Oh my god. Now, what is their name? Uh, their name is, uh, hold on, I can release that information to you. Jack Stones. Jack Are Stones. these guys with LSBN? I don't know. Who are you guys with? With Weasel. Weasel. That... Oh, LSBN has some competition. Oh, oh yeah, wow. no, we're coming back. We're coming back. In... I tell you what, here, Weasel. I'm going to give you my notes. It's... If you have any questions about any ongoings or any scene, even if you're just somewhere in the, the cops, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, yeah. ask me. I'll gladly really? give you guys a an interview and a rundown of what's going on. If I can, of course, some things are classified. But Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, um, Mr. HR. You did get that right, Mr. Kelly. Uh, yes, I did. Thank you so much. He's happy to work with the news. Um, Thank you. I think police and uh, in the news... Uh, they get a bad rep these days. We're all not so bad. Uh, I've only witnessed Pred strangle a few people. So, hey, uh, I think hey, hey, listen, listen. When question. it comes, every oh, person that? that I've ever put my hands on, it was in good faith. All right, There's, I've only been to good jail one strangling. time. It was in, it was for three years. Not a big deal. Not you know, I did my all. time. Yeah, I did my time. It happens. Now, yep. I stand by what Captain Randy Wrangler is saying. The new the police department we together we stand tall we need you you need us more than we need you though <laughs> just kidding i have a question wow. 
Do you guys want to make you different from LSB and why should we support Weasel News? Our name is different and our color is also oh, our colors are different. They're oh, black and yellow wow. and ours are uh, red. You know, if um, if I may, answer, Mrs. Wesson, answer. I would also say the people who work there are different sure. as well. Oh, that is really cool. In the sense really that they're not lesbians. Different. Oh, okay. So you guys, so you guys are against lesbians. So you guys are Fox News. Oh my God. We're not from Lisbon. What 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 color did you say you guys? Red. Oh yeah, you suck. So you guys are Fox News. I would say you guys are against more lesbians. aligned with like CNN. Huh? Oh, CNN. But you were not familiar with that word. Could you say it again slower, please? Lesbians? Lesbians? Lesbians. Lisbon. They're from Lisbon. Lisbon. We're not Lisbon. No, oh, oh, we're not Lisbon. We're not like it's we're not, not like a fox or a weasel. They're from it's a different. Um, it's a different animal. Look, uh, we're we're late for our our uh, PBSO book club. Yeah. So we should probably oh, get to that. We wouldn't want to. What are you reading you? this month? Forrest Gump. It's 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 awful. Oh, it's all right. It's a real well, fucking shitter. If I honestly, uh, I would recommend getting Forrest Gump, uh, but it's a, it's a good bathroom bathroom uh, read. As soon as you get done with the page, just rip it off and use it to wipe your ass. That's where it oh. belongs. It is just a shitter of a book. It's terrible. That's a good tip. Is at home. Wrangler, yeah. we're late. We're late for book club. Yeah. All right. All right. Here, All right let, let me check this last. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So much. So I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, this is an arc. Thank you, officers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, officers. That was very informative. Uh, if you need anything, be sure to get a hold of me for You're statements good. direct. Sheriff Kyle Pred, Polito Bay Sheriff's Office. All right, the finest officer you've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Oh, you are the finest officer I've ever seen. Yep, I like yep. I won a. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. They're um, they're white gold. I got them from Tiffany. Oh wow. So Who's Tiffany? The woman or the company? Oh, the company, the company. Yes. Oh, okay. So, um, you guys gonna ask me a question or are you just gonna hope, like, point that fucking camera at me? I mean, I thought yeah. you said I already, you had already to go to asked you several questions and you said you had well, to go to your book club. We were just getting B roll of you guys taking up. We were getting B roll of the cars and the lights and the sirens. B roll of me with a gun. Oh, hell yeah. Shoot something. Shoot something. Oh, that's hot. Wow. Yeah, that roll. yeah. Oh, yeah. keep it going. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hot. Super hot. Oh. Can you scream hey, something, right American? Get some. Get some. Get some. Oh, yeah, there it is. Get some. That was that's, good. Um, that's that's that was good stuff. Really B roll. Yes, sir. That's actually really great. Thank you, officers. It was beautiful. No, you. Go, America. Go America, number one, number one. We number love one. America over here at Weasel News. Yes, we oh, do. say Canada too. can you see? Yeah. By okay. the joints early, early night. By the but so rampart sweet. Still singing. Gleaming. If you guys want to drive away while I'm singing, feel free. And the rockets Rocket spread. Shadows. Pop-ups bursting in air. To the beauty of America. Still there. Dum, oh, dum, dum. say does that star spangled. Take your hands off. No, Sadie. And the home of 
the America. Let's go, America. One guy. That was honestly just so beautiful. I'm just <laughs> I'm just really emotional about how much I love America. <laughs> Hi there, would you like to talk to us about crime on the streets? Crime on the streets? Yeah, you seem to have a weapon on your back. How do you feel about crime in America? Terrible. Carlos Santos, are you a, cri a criminal? Why would I be a criminal? What have I done wrong? I don't know, you have a class 2 weapon back. Yeah, what if I have a license? That's that would be very question. impressive. Weapon. Yes. Yes. Oh, wonderful. What is this city, sir? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Is it crime? What? Crime is illegal, but we don't judge here at Weasel New. Uh, do you do crime? No, I'm a new reporter. Uh, why not? You can, you can still do crime even if you're a news reporter. Why, you want to rob a bank? Do you want to rob a bank? I do, yeah. Why don't you? No. Do you? Uh. Why would you need codes for a bank? I mean. Yeah? <clears throat> Sorry, <throat> gotta cut it short. Alright. That was embarrassing for him. For him, yeah, not for me. And yeah, not for us. Wow, who knew that the tow yard would be so lucrative for news? Right? Hello, officer. Hello, how are you doing, you missed people? A, you missed a great situation to come on someone. Uh, no, uh what? I could have came on somebody? Fuck! Yeah, Where you missed they? a come situation. They ran no away. Way. Yeah, just, just this way. You could have you could have came on them. Come. Look, where are they? Where are they? This, this, Keep going. Keep this, going. This way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That, that way. Wow. Funny, wow. I'm gonna tell you right now. I have What's a up? real urge to bring a cousin into the city who does this all the time. <laughs> Damn, they really did just let us sing the entire the song. The whole song. I did Fred? skip over the middle part, but I don't I knew all the words. I hit the high notes, so I'm pretty you proud You really of did. Thank the you. fact that Wrangler, Pred, and Juno all just came up to us and gave us <laughs> that content was astounding. I mean, were you recording legitimately? Because... No. Damn. That I was mean, like, fun. I'm rolling, but, like, I'm not... I don't I don't got the, the Weasel News banner or any shit like that. Like, no. It's for looks. It's for looks. But they loved it. Although I will say, I need to send you the the footage that I did get of him shooting his because it's kind of oh, perfect. Oh please, absolutely. Honestly, I think I'm a great I call camera from woman. a cop during that. Hold on, let me. Oh damn. Let me, let me make this call. Am I calling night? <laughs> I don't. Know. I don't. Know. Man, this is the spot. Clearly, it's the spot. There we go whole other situation over here now. I don't believe that they were going to a book club. Oh, definitely not. Who was that? Did you see that a guy just like... I did. Yeah, I saw him moonwalk. Okay, yeah. Wow, really something. I really hoped they would drive away. They didn't. They just stood there and let me do that. I so I actually just had a brilliant idea. Okay, listening. Uh, because I think my title right now is legitimately HR manager. I could say we're looking to hire two new people. Right. Uh, I could call Knight and say we were wondering if we could 
interview you as a uh, oh this is amazing yeah as like a trial run this idea for mrs weston here okay so so because my title right now legitimately is like hr manager if he looks it up uh, can you have me signed on this term right now no, no i'm sorry oh no so okay. sorry we have to go we have to go we have to go okay we have to go. We have to go. Come on, come on. all right This doesn't work all the time for me. This way. Your tires. Your tires. Your tires. What are you doing? You're trying tread. to figure out how this works. Calm down, man. Yeah, I'm. I'm not good at it yet. I'm practicing. You, 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 what are you practicing? Ruining your tread? This is a nice car. Yeah, I, it's okay. I can afford other ones. I, I'm trying to figure you out can... how to like quickly, you know, navigate out of like tight spots. Oh, like do a burnout? No, like like if I if I can't move but the back end of my car, you know? Yeah, a burnout. Yeah, you sure. Wrap the back of your tires and then turn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks like you're doing it. Do yeah, it the, the problem is I always seem to do it backwards. What do you mean by that? Let's watch. See, I, I went I went right instead of left. And and it's it's because doing this the right way, you have to go opposite of what way would be intuitive. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm learning. You're learning. Okay, it sounds like you're getting the gist of it though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, I've been here for like six weeks or so. I'm I'm figuring things out. Ah, welcome to Los Santos. Oh, thanks, man. What's your name? Sloan Kelly. What about you? I'm just, I'm Scruffy Dude. Oh, I like a toast. Sure, all nice to meet you. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, good to meet yeah. you too. Yeah, what do you do? You, you you cars? You like cars? Uh, I am definitely not a car person. I uh, you just drive car. I, I just drive this car. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm on a bicycle kick right now. Yeah, I, I see that. Yeah, I uh, I do some things. I uh, as of today, I work for Weasel News. Uh, with uh Travis? Yeah, with Travis. I uh, I know him pretty well. That's a good guy. Yeah, Travis is a really good dude. No one stole his kidney once. Oh, that's aggressive. That was a loan shark. It's part of the uh, business. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know, he took a pitch and didn't pay me back. It was part uh, of the terms. That that makes a lot more sense. He did end up yeah. paying me back though. So, oh, good, 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 good. Good yeah. for him and his liver or kidney or whatever. Well, whatever. I just worked for someone. Honestly, the beef wasn't between us. It was kind of just like, hey, yeah, be honest, Travis, I have to cut your kidney out. And he was like, oh. That sounds really? awful. And he was like, I was like, yeah, man. And he was like, fuck. All right. Well, fuck. So he got the money, but we're cool. We're, you know, I'm not that bad of a guy. I'm just sure, honest sure, sure. about it, though. I did try to take his kidney almost once. Yeah, that's, that's fair. We worked it up, though. Thankfully, because I'm going to be honest, I've never taken anyone's kidney. I, when, they, when they asked me to do that, I was like, okay, boss, but I don't know. I accidentally take like a toe. <laughs> what a kidney is. I like kidneys were beans. I like kidney beans. Oh yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I like all kinds of beans. Well, if you, if you like tried to go for a kidney and they end up with just like a section of like intestine or something on an intestine. Yeah. I don't know if that would look good. I don't work for that company anymore though. You know, I'm a, Oh yeah. That's, that's fair. I'm a mechanic now. Actually I'm kind of calmed oh, cool. down. Retired. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fair. Fair. I'm poor now though. Very uh, poor, you know. I yeah. used to, you know, when you're a loan shark and you make good money, but you got to take kidneys. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. That's something you gotta. They don't tell you that. It's uh, the, the you, unfortunate downside. Well, yeah, you know, you, you, Mr. Kelly, you got these pros and cons at every job, and uh, one of the cons of, uh, I'd say, loan sharking is probably emotional toll. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess maybe jail time if you're caught extorting. That's. Oh yeah, that would also. Yeah, but I never got caught. 
I admitted to it openly a thousand times. Cops just did. <laughs> just didn't. Yeah, you know what? Give I, a fuck. I have found that depending on the cop and situation slash circumstance, that could be the case. Yeah, I usually just be like, yeah. Oops. Well, uh, Mr. Kelly, I'll let you that was take care of what you can, I guess. Um, no, 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 no. That was definitely not just, the case. I, uh, I, I drive stick. And, uh, I'm a little too spooked to drive off with this crazy ass <laughs> chase going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely something happening. Hey, uh, that guy. Is, uh, yeah, just standing. Okay. Yeah, all right. About to get hit. All right. Casual. Oh, my God. Like you waited for the worst time to go. Oh, oh, my God. Everybody. Be, be careful, man. Jesus. This city, sometimes, you know? I don't think he was careful. What the fuck? You okay, buddy? Hey. Oh, oh. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. Hello there, good sir. Would you like uh, to join me into ejaculating the Tabasco sauce? Um, I'm, 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 uh, what? How? How about you, good sir? Would you like to join me? What did you? I, I, I didn't say no. I'm just. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, he did, sure he'd like to join. Asking. Yeah, he's down. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't fuck it up like oh, I did. Oh boy! No, no, no. I can't fuck wait it up to like join I you in nope, this nope, adventure. <laughs> my gosh i thought you were dead for sure no 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 i'm not i'm not dead i was talking to someone named scruffy doodle and then this dude the the moonwalking guy showed up uh oh. and asked me a very random strange question and i left oh okay well um if you want to come to mrpd that's where we are oh great yes i will head that way Okay, see you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Yeah, these chases. Did it again. Every time. Okay, I'm here. Hello. Hello. Do you guys need food at all? I can eat. I got some sushi. I think what? Water. I have sushi, yeah, but. There's a whole meal? Oh. Here, buddy, you want, I'll take the food. You want the drink? I have, I have another drink, too. Oh, and I would love a drink. Thank you. Thanks. I always get extra food. I have learned from hanging out in the courthouse and being around clerks all day just to get a couple meals. PD book club now meeting. You see that? I do see that. Where? I don't know. PD 
book club now meeting. That seems really sketchy. Yeah. It is really sketchy. I want to go. I kind of want to. I kind of call Bundy. Call, uh, call him and see what's up. Let me let me change because I want to be a part of this. Okay. Where is the clothing store? Oh, there's one straight down here. Come pick me up at the clothing store. So slow. Bingo. Brown's the way to go. Oh, hello, Mr. Hello. Um, that, that's my friend. He running. You see him? Oh, see hi, yes. Doing. Sorry. Oh, all right. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Hey, hey, come on. Come on, news. Come on, news. Hey, how's it going, news oh, people? Friends. I'm a lifer yeah. from Bolingbrook Penitentiary working as a police that, officer. Hey. How's it going? Oh, it's pretty good. I'm here to report the news. So, what's the news? And ca lights, camera, action. Oh, hold on. Hey, how's it going? Mister, I'm here, I got Duberman. this for you. I'm Stabby Duberman. I'm department. I'm a tow truck driver, and I have a tool here to help me clean tires, not to intimidate people for money. Uh, is that a shank? Oh, what? No, you're what? crazy. Why would I be? Why would I have a shank on me when I'm outside of the prison? 
Once again, I'm also a lifer, and I've done horrible things inside that prison. I've hurt POC, I've hurt lifers, I've probably killed people inside there too. Death. Oh, what's what going was on your here? name again? It's Robbie. Robbie Duberman. Robbie Duberman. Definitely not a shank. Now, what's the worst thing you've done to be in prison? Well, uh, originally I was sent to prison because uh, oh, I've uh, poached right. 250 fish. Uh, now, that might not oh. seem like a crazy there, thing, man. but uh, I'm trying to stop the second evolution from happening. Because uh, you know how uh, well, the first time it happened, a fish crawled onto land and then, you know, humans became a thing. So if it happens again, humans are going to be a thing and then we're going to die from right. Yeah, where do robots come into all of this? Uh, robots don't exist. That's factually incorrect. I've seen right, them. Six well, then you show me where they are and I'll make sure they won't exist them. anymore. Okay, I have a bunch more hits okay that's yeah. actually really good to know. Okay, I'm going to yeah, keep that in mind because I got, I got some robots that really make it their pain in my day. Thing yes. only, and there's nobody above human beings because I'm the top killing machine. Uh, As many necks I've slashed in Bolingbrook have witnessed. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. Oh, right, but I, you're I, not currently actually um, so that's a robot covered, it looks like no. all righty show me this pillbot person i'll make sure they're not a robot the anymore he works Man. at the hospital we gotta get to the hospital yep Alrighty, hospital now where do you find that I've which been, direction is the yeah, hospital i've been locked up for a long time that's, i have no idea where it is it's uh it's vaguely that way all right well thank you for showing us that direction it's over we have something to take care of all right, you have a pleasant Thank day. Thank you so much. You All right, hey, uh, you Tom, we have to go to the hospital. Yeah, well, Great on camera. Listen, we got a mission first. This is <gasps> the, first of all, this is the commissioner of the police. Hi, that's me. Very high ranking officer. Yes, I'm very high ranking, yeah. Uh, he's Hello, tasked us with repairing some nautical vehicles. Mm-hmm. Nautical vehicles talking about here. Move the microphone. Snakes, Snakes and uh, sea sharks, yeah. Just submarines. Just submarines, yeah. We, even have, we have an aircraft room. carrier. Uh, it's just off the sh Right now, why do these, why needing repair in the first place? What happened to them? Uh, I mean, in, in the line of duty, I don't know if I could really get into much more information. That wear and tear, hard use, uh, it's just standard repairs, honestly. War. Protected by the PD union. Does this have anything to do with the war in Sandy Shores yesterday? There is no oh, war the in Sandy Shores. Well, no, no, the yesterday war. I think that war is over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one probably. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's no war in Sandy Shores from eight months ago, I hear. No, but, yeah. of course not. But the one yesterday and last week. I don't know. I just hear SDSO say happened. that. There was definitely yeah. a war yesterday. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's related to yesterday's, uh, whatever that was. Alrighty. Now, what a can you do? Slaughtering. We, we got demolished. All right, have a good one. Yeah, you, you too, what, Tinker. What can you tell me about the PBSO having a very secret book meeting, a book okay. club? All right. Hey. Well, listen, we're we're very we're really into the writings of J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, and so we want to just keep that on the low. If you don't if you don't mind, just not telling anybody. It. I wasn't oh, allowed right. to read that growing up. Right. We're reading we're Silmarillion right it. now. Oh. That's interesting, because I just had two PBSO officers tell me you were reading Forrest Gump. Which is by someone else, Mama. not Tolkien. Mm, all right, well, let's go get those uh, nautical vehicles. Yeah, it looks like, ooh, look at, look at that. Uh, beep, beep. Alarm's going off on my phone. I gotta, we gotta go get, uh, I'll, I'll uh, load as many as I can into my vehicle. Oh, we probably change out. Out. I mostly I'd rather not yeah, Luna, what is it? the trunk with news cameras here. here. Yeah. Oh, no. Right, fair enough. My name's Christy Here, Weston. If you never need to find me, all right, Christy Weston. All right, perfect. Thanks, Christy. Just You're a to, wonderful woman. Just right. to say, oh, I think your captain looked great on camera. Thank you. Oh, also yeah, looked great in the coffin. His structure was exceptional. All right, hop in, boys. We got. Uh, uh, are we gonna need multiple still. vehicles? Bye. How many lifers are there? Bye. I, I think the, I got the, the, the top squad is phone there. number. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. Uh, you That's hear that? Great. All the police officers are lying about what book they're reading. I hear some saying that they're reading some, some are saying that they're reading Tolkienine. Uh, we just don't know who to trust anymore. We'll have more at 11, but this is very, very serious. All right, and cut. That was it. Cut, cut it, it down. That, perfect, that perfect. Good? perfect. All right, thanks. Oh, and now I can good. give this to you, not on Rive. Oh my god, what is this? 
Oh, open it. Is that a Bible? Oh my god, you want to ERP with me? Yeah, I, I go, Paddle. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep this forever. Okay. My, my phone number is in it too. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. And cut. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Okay, I was. Damn, that was beautiful. I wasn't, that was I wasn't beautiful. previously recording. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, 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 yeah. So, you know, that it was just so the only didn't thing get, you got was that last I didn't get part. That bit on, I didn't get that bit on camera. But if you guys want to do the card thing again, um, oh. I can start rolling. If you just want to take it from the top. Oh. Oh yeah, no, that oh, was part oh. was definitely for the camera, not just for us personally. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, it was sorry, definitely didn't like a setup. Roll. Um, yeah. Well, this is... How, Luna? Well, I don't... Oh, that... stall and... Oh, no. That's right. That's what she first came up to us. That was yeah. stolen. Come on, Mrs. Weston. I see oh. you. you're looking a little bit, um, flushed. A little bit. What is this on the ground? Oh, sick. What was it? It was definitely not a gun. Oh, wow. Oh, huh? Alright. Huh? 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 Ah! Oh, wow. Uh, what kind of gun was it? Beretta M9. Oh, wow, alright. Okay. Look, I have this. Is that on. the Regal gun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely mine. So, whoops. Oh. Oh, oh it's because uh, he, he dropped it when yeah. he picked up the thing I gave him. Yeah, right. Thank right. you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Here you go. All right, we better get back to the new studio name? and cut all of that footage up, huh? Yeah, we need to, we need to cut that up. What? Oh, sorry, that's my pet. Sorry. Gun, scorpion, same thing. All righty. Thank was you. A pleasure to meet you to both, pet my especially, ah. especially oh. you. Hey, go pet my scorpion. Bye, bye. Ah, yes, he's bye. he's lovely. Thank bye, you. Bye, Luna. Bye. What do you mean? Bye. This is Sadie. Sadie. Yeah. Hi, okay. Sadie. And Jeff. Bye, Sadie. Oh, bye, bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. To meet you. Goodbye. Bye. Nice to meet you too. She gave me one of my own cards. <laughs> I was figuring that she was. She gave me a I, do I you want to ERP assumed. with me card. That was funny. I, I need a better name than Jeff. Come on now. <laughs> it's the first one I could think of. <laughs> also, <laughs> like, I'm, first I'm doing a British accent. Come on now. Jeffrey. Je yeah. Je Jeffrey. Je Jeffrey. Je Jeffrey. It's Jeff, but it's spelled Geoff. Geoff. We gotta find Geoff. out where this Geoffrey. fucking book club is. I know. I texted Tess and I said book club and he said book club. Hmm. Text us, text him. Calling. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna pull over. I'm gonna text him again. Calling him, calling him. Oh, you're calling my husband? Hi. What's this? What's book club code for? I don't blame you. Okay. So, we talked to Wrangler and Pred, undercover, uh, and they were talking about book club. I was like, all right, interesting. They're like, yeah, we got to go to book club. We're reading Forrest Gump. I was like, oh, okay. And then Wrangler tweeted, PD book club starting now. And then I talked to Moosebeard, also undercover. And he was like, yeah, book club. We're reading something by Tolkien. And I was like, that's not what the other officer said. They said they were reading Forrest Gump. And he got really uncomfortable and then left. That's right. Well, it's some secret code between PBSO officers. So just as a heads up. Ah, and you're not being included in it. Oh shit, yeah. No, I did not. I just found out about that. Yeah, I heard. Aaron called me. Yeah. All right, appreciate it. Well, hope, good luck figuring out what book club is. All right, bye. He just said, did you lend somebody your tow truck? And I was like, no. 
Why would I do that? Why would that doesn't I do sound that? like me. That's crazy. I wouldn't do that. I know. Well, he has no idea what it is. No. Damn. Yeah. Something, some secret shit's going down today. Mm hmm. How do we find it? I don't know. Maybe it's like a Polito or something. Well, yeah, I think we they're can... not going to meet in Polito, right? They're going to meet somewhere random. Let's go to. Let's go to. Yeah, we'll fly by spaces. Yeah, let's yeah, go, yeah. like, we'll go to Game World. World. Uh. Farmer's Market. Court Center? The old courthouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Court Center. Yeah. Maybe we'll. We don't really have a library in the city, do we? No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Where would they. Where would they go to the library? Let's just go down here. We'll see what's up. We'll be able to tell if there's people gathered. Yeah. Also, I really want the clowns to claim this as turf. Oh, that would be so That'd great, be great, right? Wouldn't that makes so much sense. It would. Liquid library is the only other thing I can really think of, but like, would the HOA, HOA let the PBSO yeah. in there? Probably not. No, doubtful. I don't look like it. Not here. Hmm. I'm gonna try something. Okay. I'm just calling Pred and Wrangler directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask them about it. They twatted about it, so. Yeah. Inquiring minds would like to know. Mm hmm. I'm being nosy. Tell me. I'm not answering your phone. They're in book club. They're reading. Right. Reading. Wing. Probably an orgy or something. Uh, an orgy? Yeah. Ripley once invited me to a Thursday night orgy. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Him and Martell host it. I just feel like they're not going to meet out in public somewhere. I feel like they're going to meet behind lockers, which makes me think like they might go to one of the other police stations. Probably. Grapeseed PD, maybe? That's possible. I don't see anybody around here. We'd hear them. Damn. Let's. I mean. We gotta get the scoop. This old news. We gotta get it. I feel like it would be dumb to not check the liquid library. Okay. But at the same time, it. I just think it's so bizarre. That would also be a little I, I... too obvious, right? It would be incredibly but it, obvious. But it's but... obvious in a way that they might be like, nobody's going to check here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, okay, I think our course of action, uni wait, the university? Okay. We're, we're here, we're here, we're here. Do any of these doors open? No, not, not that I know of. Okay. I think we go, where are you going? I mean, I'll go anywhere. Let's go. <laughs> but where are you going? Mm, they can't get into the Richmond either. 
So, I mean, they could be out back, but I doubt it. We'd we'd see cop cars. They're not all gonna valet. Okay, okay. I think I think a club uh, now meeting. Randy and Paul posted it too. So it's it's like yeah. high command, folks. It seems like it. I guess um, so. So I don't know if I should say anything. What? You guys know Pred assaulted the FIB building the other day. <laughs> no, I didn't no. know that. We can check there. Okay, okay. I'm gonna swing by the liquid library. Okay. Did Let's go because that would be library FIB. Uh, Grapeseed PD because maybe book club means they're killing someone. <sighs> yeah, good. There's no way out there they're at the casino. It could be ridiculous. It might mean gambling. Fred does you like think? gambling. He loves gambling. Duty. He's like, what, $10 million in debt or something? Like 8.4. Cop car. Or at least that's. Somebody want to run in so fast. See what's yeah, up. Oh, Fred's calling me. Oh, damn. The meeting's probably over. Oh, literally, he steps out. Drive away. That it was obvious. They're really all there. Yeah, literally all right there. And they all valid. It was a real fucking book club. It was a book club, like actually a book club. Red was calling me as I was walking in, and I just walked right past him. And then I heard Wrangler talking about how burning books is bad, and how all the cops are dispersing. I think it was a real book club. There's no way. Come inside, come inside, come inside, come inside. No, 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 there's no way. Like, like I think it might have been a real book club. Hi, do you guys know anything from this book club? Oh, yes, uh, I think it's uh, just uh, Vista. The last, the last Wrangler. He's, Wrangler, he's the head of it. Yeah, my favorite local sheriff, Wangler. Yeah, right they actually what, talking what books about books? do you read? Yeah, take him inside. I, I think, think actually, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a librarian thing. Wow. Unfortunately. I wanted to dip the pages in the gasoline, but he didn't seem to do it, which is really upsetting because he really seemed to do it. Hmm. Hey. Right, good luck. Oh, please look. Oh. We didn't attend we just, the book club. We, we were just on fire, so allegedly. Oh, oh, I see. All right, we just okay. Wanted to like burn the books. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, he gets it. This guy gets it. Thank you. I give him a whiff. Oh, like, I think he deserves a whiff. That sherva whiff. Would you like a whiff? No. What the fuck? Oh, okay, you, you know what? Here, <gasps> we have an emergency. Let's see, dip, 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 dip. All right. Yes. Goodbye. I literally hate them. I hate them. It's a real book club. I, I don't think they necessarily, they probably, I don't think any of them read the fucking book. I, I don't think know, it's a real book they club. Were... <laughs> well, clearly, if they were talking about the fact that it was different books, there's no way it was a real book club. I mean, it, the thing is, I think but... they like the idea of having a book club, but they don't want to do the reading part. Oh my With only God. leadership. 
Well, I saw, okay, Pret, Jenny went across the street. There was somebody uh -huh. else who I didn't recognize. Wrangler. I think you was a real Pokemon. Oh my God. <laughs> We're in there and Wrangler was talking about not destroying books. And he's talking about being a library Darian. <laughs> I mean, if the context of Desh was burning. Uh, oh, that's a separate thing. Well, no. The cops, I, mean, I think we're here for. No, but if she club. offered the same thing to him at one point and he just brought it back up. Oh, right. Oh, my God. That was incredible. Come on. Investigative reporting here. That was incredible. I got to make a. So just thought I'd keep you posted. You're welcome. Glad you caught them. Um, where's your friend? I'm about to go do some bees, I think. And um, I need to have lunch at some point. But um, Sloan looks very different with this haircut and glasses. Like those glasses. Or if I went, uh. No glasses. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Seems like the fun may be over. How's it going? Seeing white coil. Pretty good. How are you? Feeling good. Hey, it's Petty. Oh, hey, Petty. I heard you're single. Hi, yeah. That's right. Why the fuck are you guys wearing that? Because of COVID. Why? COVID. We don't have COVID. No one even cares about this. Okay, fine. Thank you. I'm so fucking sick. Don't even reach 200 miles per hour, so that would be nice oh, if it did. Yeah, it? This car, this is an A class. It's got flowers on it. This does not reach 200 miles per hour. No, what the fuck the difference is? I reached about <coughs> 150 when it's fully upgraded. Bye. 
undercover vehicle. I have to go to my store and put stock in my store. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Yeah, the fact that they were driving UCs is also very suspicious. Yeah, it's weird. Also, this is not a good look for you. It's supposed to be. I mean, I still look hot, but mm. it's just not its not my usual vibe. Also, I don't like being brunette. You don't like what? Being brunette. Yeah, it's just it's just not, not the move. But I do look like an assistant who desperately wants to be a reporter but doesn't have any reporter look. So I just slapped on whatever I could find. Pencil skirt, check. Vest, check. Button up that I used to wear waiting tables at Cracker Barrel, check. At Cracker Barrel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. But literally, look at it. It's a no, Cracker Barrel. Uh, uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, so. I mean, it's even been like pulled on the collar Glasses and that I popped the lens out of, check. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. These have lenses. They actually They're, do have lenses, yeah. But they have, have no prescription, so. They have no prescription, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't, hype can't see check. anything. Did I cut my bangs myself? Yes, check. Perfect. Arms straight like a Barbie? Check. Check. Well, uh, I'm going to head to bed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, let's, let's chat tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Indeed, yes, indeed. Yeah, I want to talk to you about some business stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. get out of here. Cool. Well, do you need a ride somewhere? No, I'll uh, okay. nap somewhere around here. Maybe I'll get okay. uh, Joseph to let me sleep in Trugway. Oh, smart. Yeah. You sleep in Liquid Library. It's nice that they have private rooms. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. All right, I'll see you. Okay, bye, be safe. Oh, bye. Bye. Good seeing you, Nancy. Bye. It's been fun hanging out. You too. First time Hell in a yeah. long time. We need to do this more. I know. Absolutely. Okay, bye. <laughs> so stupid. Bye. bye. Um, I'm going to go put the car... Hey, what's up, my dude? Hey, how's it going? Good on yourself. Pretty good. Yeah. You doing all right? You running away from someone? No, no, no. I was uh, getting ready to head to bed, but, you know. Oh, okay. You know, second to chat. Oh, no, no, I was all right. I was just saying, like, didn't know if something was happening over there. Oh, no, no, no. I uh, I was hanging out with a couple friends and decided I'd, I'd call it here, you know? Oh, okay. No worries. Yeah. yeah, go to bed, man. It's all good. All right, man. I'll see you. <laughs> I was just standing guard. All right. Take it easy. Can't get over this. Nope. Pass out right here. There you go. Like I said, short stream. Appreciate you guys coming and hanging out. We'll uh, do this again soon. Maybe Monday. I'm going to just kind of chill out a little bit. I got stuff I got to knock out tomorrow. If I dip in the city, it will be just for a short period of time. I probably won't do too much. I just need to talk to her about some ideas. Business ideas. But appreciate y'all. Have a good night. We'll see you.